So who or um, whom, if it's multiple, I'm actually not sure how that language works, uh, would like to... Uh, actually, you know what? Let, it's been 21 days. Let's try and do the best at a, at a community recap of last week. I will, I will watch start. the video as homework. <laughs> I will start and say that you guys were in Bogton at the beginning of last session. Yes. Um, uh, I believe the session started out with the long yet difficult conversation that Vazor had with his um his Hatch brothers. Bingo. Where he just brutally betrayed for absolutely no reason his adopted father. <laughs> Did Bazaar just die? No, Elder Greyclaw did. Oh, R.I.P. He lived as he died, away from the village. Oof. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I betrayed the Elder for the deal with Tibidu. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tibbs, as it were. After that conversation, uh, Reinhold came over to make sure that I was okay. Like big old sweetie, he is. Yeah, I agree. Um, then I think there. Were, oh, we had we ate like frog or something. Uh, toad, toad stew. Toad, toad, toad stew. stew. Toad stew. I believe we at least three of us. Experienced a psychedelic episode of some sort. Uh, That's yes. also true, yes. Uh, Crane, please go ahead. Crane, the most experienced in taking drugs, apparently, was perfectly fine, just kind of vibing, really. Uh, oh, I was Crane experiencing does. an actual nightmare. <laughs> and Vizor, I believe you were staring at the pond? Well, Vizor first thought he was an otter that needed to feed his family. And then he thought he was killed by the black knight or the obsidian knight. And then Crane made sure that Missouri was okay. And I think you're giving Crane more credit than he deserves. Well, Crane yeah. bloomed, I think, because Crane thought he was a flower of some sort, if I recall correctly. Yep, Crane yeah. totally thought he was a flower or a tree. Um, and Nash and I, I think even worse than these sort of nightmare shriekers that were sort of surrounding you they was, the fact, <laughs> was the fact that during that, you also had like two other Nash and I's in your own head having a conversation with each other. Ah, uh, yes. I yeah. do remember the fractured Nash and I. Yeah, that tends to happen sometimes. Yeah. Um, I do disassociate like this. Yeah. <laughs> That was a, a good chunk of it, was sort of the conversation in Bogton amongst friends, uh, among next steps about uh, Dunmull Deer and finding Embra. Um, that was very much kind of the, the chunk of it. Uh, however, the last sort of 10, 20% was coming back home to the Morell estate uh, in Port Principe, uh, which is where you are now. Um, and you found that the Natea family is doing well uh, Lilia and Brianna are also doing well around the house. Um, nothing has been really stolen. Uh, unfortunately, no mail yet, as no subscriptions have been signed up for. So. Oh, that is false. Bazaar subscribes to a magazine. Well, he says he does, but I haven't written the magazine yet, so how real can it be? No. Um, yeah, we had no promise that that guy was actually going to deliver on anything. <laughs> that is true. Was it Artificer uh, Monthly or something? I can't remember. Yeah. Artificer's Digest. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, that I guess the Time magazine alternative would be like the what, Hourglass magazine. <laughs> that's all I got. Sundial. Mm, sundial mag. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, but over the next uh, day or so, while you're in Port Principe, um, you will find Embra and we will get to that in a bit. Uh, however, is there anything else you guys want to do um, while in town or around the house or anything you guys want to uh, stock up on, conversations you want to have? Mm 
as bad as it sounds, I, I really don't think I can think of anything that I really want to do besides the usual. He's a prepared man, that Reinhold. Should we go meet the neighbors? Yes. Uh, I, I would like to do one thing. I'd like to lobby uh, the Church of Tosh for uh, a salary. Uh, <laughs> as I'm broke 24-7, so... Well, you did that to yourself. Do paladins just request stipend on demand? Well, it's not a demand. It's just a request. Or sorry, like 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 instantly rather, like on request. Mm. Like, hey guys, can you pay me something? I I'll be honest with you. I don't even know if there. Darren doesn't know if there's actually a, a church of of Tosh, like an organized like church. Well, I feel like there would be. It seems what? like most uh, like orderly religions, I think, would be more church oriented. Sure, let's uh, let's see what I have uh, written down for you. So, uh, or Tosh, there are a lot of things that are just sort of kind of generalizations, um, but usually the temples that kind of devote themselves to Tosh also function as like courthouses so if i want to go lobby for a stipend i have to go to court <laughs> uh, maybe not literally but i mean there's probably like little shrines and stuff like that there might be collection boxes where you can take out like a tithe i wouldn't be opposed to that wait wait are you for real well i mean That's i'm how... thinking i'm thinking That's of like it how as... members of a church get paid I'm thinking of it as, like, around Christmas when, like, it's the Red, like, Salvation Army or whatever, right? What's that called? I forget. Where the guys... Red Cross. Cross. Yeah, Red Cross. Like, stuff like that. Like... A... Technically, being a paladin as he is, he is part of a Salvation Army. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, listen. You need to calm down. I mean, that'll Dial be going in the quotes later, but calm down. It's too early in the night. You need I to hit me you. with that like 40 minutes in. I Still will. Good. Nerves, we, we, need, right? we need the material up front. <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, so mm -hmm. there there is like an actual like tithe that I could collect? Yeah, I mean, it, listen, it depends on where you are and it might not be much, but if you can, you know, prove that you're, you know, who you say you are. Um, which with you being a mountain of a man and having your symbology kind of, you know, embroidered on any leathers or kind of stamped in your arm or whatever, that wouldn't be too hard. Um, you clearly know your stuff. Um, but yeah, I would say that's fair enough. Okay. Uh, well then I'd like to, you said about two days. Yeah. I, I, yeah. If there's a, if there's a temple slash courthouse uh, to Tosh in, in Port Prince Bay, then I'd like to, uh, find that and and possibly collect a a modest tithe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, easy enough. I'd say the um, let's see. I'm it's not sure of the. <laughs> it, it almost was. I'm not sure of the actual. Hmm, like popularity, you know, scale of one to ten. But as far as like total gold and all that amount. I would say, hmm. I'll say this is as part of your background a little bit with your nightly okay. background, but also with your sort of service to Tosh. Give me just a persuasion check and I'll sort of check that against an arbitrary number, um, sort of against the city and like populace, how they're feeling. And all that. I'll let you go. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. That's not bad. Okay, for that, I'll say, uh, let's go, I'm going to go D8 plus your Charisma mod, which is four, I believe. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So this will be like gold value that you can take from a uh, collections. Because let's say there's some like, I don't know, some arbitrary rule that you should only take like 15, 20% or something like that. Right, like a courtesy thing. Who knows, yeah. yeah. Uh, so let's go. Okay. That's six gold pieces. Uh, that's like double what I had before, so. <laughs> 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 you, 
Now, if only you could find five together. farmers. There you go. Oh, the poor boy, nobody loves him. The I'm rich, guys. <laughs> elaborate fucking sword. I think Vizor's is more elaborate than mine. That's fair, but you know, he just had to sell out his closest relative almost to get it. Small price to pay. You should try that sometime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Does Reinhold know? have any relatives? You don't know. I'd Not like to know. Mm -hmm. The, GM, the yes. GM be like, oh, you spent all your money on this flaming sword. My brother and Tosh, you offered it to us. <laughs> I mean, I believe I, I believe I did mention one relative. You had oh? mentioned a, I think a father figure, I believe. I mean, yeah, yes. You know, family isn't always blood. Yeah, I get that. I'm just saying, I, I remember specifically saying it was not a blood relative. Correct, but that that would have been the only only mention of any family. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Besides Burley, I'm uh, advancing time a little bit, just another hour. Or so, um, so it's it's early in this morning. If you guys want to play anything out during the day, um, I'll say at the end of this day, you guys will find Embra no problem. Green would like to invite the neighbors over for tea. That's interesting. We're we're in a nice neighborhood, man. I'm worried about that. Well, I, <laughs> I was actually Why thinking about this. Why are you worried about, about that? Yeah, feel feel free to uh, expand. Well, I mean, we're just a, a group of ragtag adventurers. You know, it's like you got, you know, hoity-toity people in the manors next door. They're going to be all... Are you oh. worried they're going to judge us? I mean, maybe a little bit. Well, it's good to get to know our neighbors then, to know what kind of people they are. Valid point, valid point. Would Reinhold like to be there for tea time? Yes, mm -hmm. Reinhold would like to be there for tea time. Okay. Very nice. Green would like to specifically ask, what is it, the kid's name is Chan? Yep. Crane would specifically like to ask Chan if he would be like the little waiter, server, butler boy. <laughs> For tea time. Um. <laughs> okay. So, do you actually ask him that? Yeah. Okay. So uh, he will. <laughs> he will go back to you and and say, um, uh, my parents don't really um want me doing any you know, underage labor. They they told me when I tried to help out back at the old house. But you're what like, six seven. That's that's not, that's a perfect age to I'm start the height doing as Yuda. light tasks, huh? I'm half the height as you, though. I can't grab anything that's not at my head level. That we'll make it work. See, okay, I will lay everything out, and you kind of just bring it in on a, like a tray, and then you set it down, and then you kind of stand nice in the corner, and, and then if anybody asks for something, you go in the kitchen, and if you can't reach it, yeah, ask Lilia or somebody. Crane, Crane, if if I could. If, if I could interject here, um, what? wouldn't it make more sense to have the people who we hired to do these kinds of things to do these kinds of things? Yeah, you don't want to be wasting money. I'll give you, like, a gold piece or something. I don't know, how much do you charge for tea service? I'm six, I don't. But... This is a great opportunity for you to get job experience. Imagine putting that on a resume. <laughs> Child labor. <laughs> I'll get you a bow tie. You can dress all fancy nice. I think that's Crane's whole purpose here, is to get a child in a suit and bow tie, because they'd look cute. <laughs> Don't you want to impress our neighbors? You live here too now. I gotta be honest, I don't really see the neighbors much. They're kind of seem uptight See? well that's because you don't know them we have to get to know them you break down those barriers and then boom we're all friends but what about the time they kidnapped those four children i'm sorry what i'm kidding <sighs> chong that's it's a good joke it's a good joke but don't tell that when they come over i can be the comedian 
Reinhardt's no. already running off to go find the neighbors. <laughs> there is no comedian at tea time. Clearly, this is your first one. He is he what? he is six crane. Well, how does he know what a comedian is? I, I feel like you learn about humor first before you learn about tea time. Well, you can know what humor is and still not know that there is such a thing as a comedian. Okay, okay fair but, point. But if I okay, if I have to serve people, what if I um what if I say we're out of like everything? But that defeats the purpose of us inviting them over. Yeah, but it, it gets me out of serving. Crane, if you're going for the, the I guess, the most spectacular form of serving staff, I would be uh, a, a, to, a, able to avail myself in this capacity. You want to beat the butler? I could be, if it gets our young companion out of doing something he doesn't want to do. Why, why don't we just hire a butler? On such well, short notice? Oh, take off his mask so he can have a bow tie around his neck. Don't do that. You, look, Chon, I've tried to take the mask off. I don't think the bow tie is going to help here. I could still put on a bow tie. The mask can stay on. Yeah, I, I don't see the mask interfering with a bow tie, really. But good idea, Chon. We, we always want to try to take the mask off. Think of that next time. But Chon, come on. You could you could bring cookies out. You could have a cookie. You could bring tea out. You can have tea. You know, sugar, milk, whatever you want. Whatever you bring out, you can also have some. I don't know if you want that to be true. What, you don't like tea? No, I don't want to run your stocks dry. You gotta realize, uh, what we had back at Moonwall Palisade was, I mean, a fraction of this. Uh, you'll Your cupboards will go dry and empty. You're six. How many cookies can you eat? It's a long time. I can ration it out. Wh How many it... rations are you? are six. Hey, Wh Rein Reinhold. Wh wouldn't it make more sense to ask John's parents first if they're okay with this? I mean, John was just standing right here doing nothing like a no good he... six year old. He is okay. six years old, I'm Crane. I'm going to play cards. <laughs> How do you know how to play cards? What are you I, playing? Go I, fish? Okay. He runs away. Reinhold, I, I was going to take this child under yes, my wing me. and teach him all the things. And now he's just made an enemy. <laughs> what can I do for you, Nash and I? God, that music just turned on suddenly. Jesus. Yeah, that was that was jarring, my friend. That was some angelic shit. Reinhold speaks and the angels twice. sing. <laughs> So what do you need? Oh! Uh, Reinhold, I'm I'm gonna confess. I'm beginning to get a little uncomfortable around Crane. Uh, why is that? I I feel as if he's almost bordering obsessed about my whole like mask thing. I mean, uh, the mystery is quite intriguing. Some well, I th find th it more than others. And of course, curiosity is something I cannot, you know, squash. But whenever I'm around him, it's like all all he eventually starts talking about. Well, I mean, I would say it borders on obsession when we start to see, you know, maybe like physical action towards it. So far, it's just been, you know, show us what's under the mask, Nash and I, or hey, take off your mask, Nash and I. It hasn't been like strap him down and peel his mask off. So I think there's a level where I can still say it's definitely a little bit uncomfortable. It's definitely strange. I wouldn't wouldn't disagree with that, but I don't think there's anything yet to worry about. I I guess I just wish to let you know my feelings on the matter. You seem like a very responsible individual. Well, I will keep an eye on Crane and his obsession with your mask. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. And please don't let Crane make the six-year-old do manual labor. I believe that uh, our six-year-old friend was able to outwit him a little easily. 
Well, that's that's good. Oh, hello. Hi, Crane. Hi. I'm going this way. Oh, oh okay. Did, did you find a butler? We're... Chan will do it, I think. I just have to find the right way to ask. <laughs> All right, Crane, good luck. Persistence is a virtue, sure. I think However, you mean patience. Well, that is also a virtue. There can be more than one virtue, I think. Are you uh, looking for Chan, Crane? No. Okay. Hunter's Thank mark. God. As if you are, I can just save this time. <laughs> John's just like sleeping in his room, and then there's Crane in the window with his eyes glowing. <laughs> Child labor now. now. Hey, Mazur. Oh, hello, Crane. Have you ever thought about strapping Nash and I down to take his mask off? I have never thought about that, no, why? Why? I mean, I haven't thought about it either. I mean, I, if I'm being completely 100% honest, I thought about it when you asked me the question, so I've thought about it once. Okay. Alright. Hey, <laughs> did you know we're having the neighbors over? I did not. Who are our neighbors? I don't know. Reinhold's gonna go get them, and then they're gonna come over for tea. Do you, you want to have tea with our neighbors? Um, would it be rude of me to say not really? I mean, so may maybe? I don't know. I've never really invited neighbors over for tea. But the thing is, you don't really have to be there for the tea. You have to be there to, to scope out the neighbors. Oh, so it's like a stealth mission. Yes. It's exactly like a stealth mission. Yeah, I'm not good at that either, so... But you don't have to actually be stealthy. Like, they can know you're there. Wait, so... What kind of mission is this, Crane? You're confusing me. It's like a... Uh, maybe diplomacy is more of the, the word? Oh yeah, no, definitely not that either. Well, I mean... Do you, do you want to meet our neighbors? Okay, fine. Okay. Sounds good. I, I like the idea that, that Crane and Vizur think everything is a mission in some capacity. That's 100% accurate. <laughs> yeah. Scare the lock up when you're done. I'm telling you, ever since Crane has gained the, the estate, he's had what a saying in Night's Reach would go, um, wizard dust energy. Uh, maybe, maybe the, 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 like, the, the power... power? has gone to his head? Perhaps. I don't know. Like, does, does Crane really hold power if, if he just owns a single manor? I mean, that's more manors than you or I own, unless there's something I do not know about you. No, no, I am not landed. But still, that's, like, I carry sway in, like, some areas, but, like, I I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe Crane thinks that He's, he's got like a, a sort of power because of the manor and, and now that power makes him want to peel the mask from your face well, or whatever's I, behind it and I, I guess well, notwithstanding that I suppose at the very least our you know, comparison to Crane he's, we can allow him to mind his manor while we of course are always able to mind our manners heh <laughs> I'm glad that, that joke landed well. Yeah. I heard it from Valros earlier. Solid. <laughs> well, but I'm going Valros to. Valros had a bit better delivery. I'm sorry. It's okay. He's he, your your delivery's a little dry, you know. But that's, uh, that's what he said I, too. I think I'm supposed to be uh, inviting the neighbors to tea. I don't even know what time it's going to be at. Also, which neighbors? I also I don't have know that. Two neighbors available. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me let me hit up Crane real quick. Your God spoke to you. And told you this. Tosh descended from the heavens. There are two neighbors. Goodbye. My, my guy. There are two directions on the road, left and right. 
There is no other side of the street. Not in this part of town. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna ask Crane. Uh, Crane, what uh, what time were you going to be having tea? Uh, I don't know. When is tea time? Like noon. Like uh, tea time is like a time, but what time is a, tea time? As a as a minor noble, would I know that, Drew? Yeah, typically I'd say noon afternoon, maybe. We are, are we past that? Or are we? No, this is. I mean, okay. assuming the child labor talk didn't go on too long, this is probably. I hope not. Before nine a.m. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So I I will I'll go extend an invitation to the two neighbors. I don't know if you want to RP that or if you want to just do it. It's, it's up, up to you guys. Me. I have neighbors ready. Honestly, I I <laughs> I'll be completely frank with you. I don't want to spend too much time talking to neighbors trying to coerce them into coming to this house for tea time. The, so. the neighbors will be here regardless, no matter what. Cool. So oh, so we don't even have to ask them. Well, I no, I mean I. <laughs> They're I'll be omnipotent here for the future. I I don't have any plans to kill these neighbors. I see. And isn't yeah. that great for you? Yeah. All? I was about to say we have to establish an emotional bond first. Yeah. Well, at least right. that's how I'd rate it. Mm -hmm. Correct. Kind of an a-hole. Um, uh, yeah. So I'll I'll go extend those two invitations to the two neighbors and then uh, wait till tea time. I guess help pre make preparations for tea time. What kind of tea do you serve at tea time? Whatever tea uh, you have at hand. I would imagine it would be down to the preference of the the company you have. What tea do we have? Uh, Valros, what tea do we have? Uh, I'll I'll have to check with the wife. Uh, one moment. Go back and talk to. Her. Reinhold, you have gallon tea. Nash and I. Yes. If push comes to shove and you make another joke like that, I will help Crane peel the mask off your face. No. No. No more jokes like that. Gallon. It's a Tashi or a Devo tea. Do I need All right. to separate you two? The fate is sealed. You you have now written it in stone that when Crane tries to peel the mask from your face, I will help him. Shame, shame. <laughs> wow, right all around here. Pretty man. dark, man. Well, I didn't say it was going to be non-consensual. That would just be difficult. Reinhold, don't be so petty. Okay, but you're you're you cruising have... for me to do it right now. <laughs> I thought it was tea time. Okay, y'all have. Boy, this is. This is terrible. <clears throat> you have, uh, I'd say, three main teas that are uh, easy to do. Um, you have like a, a, a black tea, like an Earl Grey. Um, there is a, a simple green tea that is sort of like ginger, I would say. Um, also, I will point out, if you want to put out like, I don't know, pastries or uh, biscuits or, or something. I, I would have informed Crane and sure. by extension Valros about that. Sorry, not Valros. Uh, I forgot his name or her name. Jasmine? You, huh? Jasmine. Isn't that one of the teas we have? You mean Jasmine? Yes, Jasmine. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. But um, we need we need pastries? Well, Maybe. yeah. I mean, you can't, just, oh, you can't okay. just invite people over and not have something where's, small. Where's and Chan? If I give Chan, like, I don't know, like eight silver, do you think Chan will go to the bakery and buy some Crane, pastries? Crane, I will just go to the break bakery and get you some pastries. If it's well, what important. is the point of having a well, child you if you to go can't extend, have them run errands? You have to go extend the invites. I can run decently fast to go get some baked okay. goods. Nash and I will go get the baked goods. I will extend the invitations. I'll Jasmine clean. and Varus will get everything ready along with you, Crane. Okay. Okay. Break. And I'll set off at a brisk jog. Everything is easy and acquiring. I hope they like only licorice. It's not a pastry. It is if you put frosting on it. Nope. That's... Do you understand what nope. pastry is? Nope. Do we... That's... 
We, so we sent the worst guy to go pick up pastries. Guys, I, I didn't have access to sugar much. Yeah. Wow. Well, we still don't have Knight's a butler. Is really bitter, or everything in Nightreach is really bitter. Yeah, guys. And sour. We had, like, terrible, like, tree roots to try and distill our tea from. Tasted, uh, like, actual sadness. <laughs> Valros will come to Ukraine um, and say, um, Jasmine can make some matcha tea. That shouldn't be a problem. Oh. Um, that sounds nice. If you want to put John to work, that's fine. Just remember, he has a you know, growing boy, has a bedtime, needs his naps. Okay. You can, ha can have nap time after tea time. This might be a little crass to say uh, while you are housing us with your um, incredible kindness, but is he getting paid a wage? Yeah, of course I was going to pay him. I was going to pay him the same wage that I got paid when I was his age. Okay. Well, you know, inflation, but okay. Yeah. Inflation? Uh, Valros <laughs> walks away. Crane's like, what, what's inflation? Is that like balloon animals? Like, like coins don't inflate. Okay. Uh, yes, everything is acquired no matter what. Obviously, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother. Uh, won't even charge any anything for the ingredients. Y'all are past that. Where's John? John. John is uh, as you're around the corner. He is playing cards. As hey, John. Threatened. What? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Right here. I asked your dad, and your dad said that you can work tea time. Uh, fine. Here's a bow tie. Here, we'll start. We'll start really easy. You wear the bow tie. All you do, you open the door. And you smile and you say, welcome to the Morel estate. Master Crane was very happy to see you. And then the you point them in open. towards... No, it's not. It's open right now. Oh my god, who left the door open? <laughs> Missouri. Yeah. I'm so glad that I'm getting baked goods. Wait, Okay. what is so, a cannoli? So here's the deal. John, you are now officially our doorman. I can open a door and not work tea time. Those two things are not exclusive. You can... Okay, so we'll have you be the doorman for tea time? And then, you know, maybe on occasion, you can also just be the doorman. I can stand by the door. And then open it. Yeah. And then let people in and close it. And then you say, Welcome to the Morel Estate, Master Crane... We'll see you now, and then you point them towards where we are. Power is definitely going to Crane's head. Do you want me to keep a list of people who don't close the door before I have a chance? Uh, no, that seems like extra work for you, and we don't we don't want that. Yeah, but if they're that important, doesn't it tell you a lot about their character? Uh, you have a lot to say for being six. I read. What do you read? Books. Heard what of kind them? of books? War and Peace. What kind of books do you read, John? Uh, self help. You? Oh boy! Wow. Um, I was home alone a lot. My parents work. That was fast. That's 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 something. Okay, I'm gonna get you some new books. You Maybe we have like... some books upstairs. You just see, like, multiple containers that all just have cannoli in them. Did, did you only get cannolis? Not I, try, I tried this, and I, I've never had it before, so I figured it was probably the best good they had there, so I just got a platter full. Okay. All right. You know, this, this is going to be fine, but in the future, if there's tea time, you usually want to get something, you know, a little bit more, I guess, light 
Technolays are a little like heavy, you know. You need something that's like uh, like a scone or a, or a, um, a, a biscuit. Scones aren't light. I thought a, I thought a biscuit was like a bread. Scones are like jam. rocks. Those are heavy. Kind of, kind of like a, like a, um, like a cookie. Not Chanel. Oh, cookies. Aren't cookies also rather sweet? It, it's not the sweetness that I'm concerned about. Listen, I don't know these people well enough, so I'm trying to do this in a way that would be familiar to me in a normal court, a noble court-like situation, and usually all the hoity-toity nobles want to keep their things light and airy and non-filling and whatever else so that they don't, you know, gain weight or whatever, but it's fine. It can always be fine for now, but, but just in the but, future, just try to keep it something small and, and a little bit more a little bit less substantial than a cannoli, or several cannolis. But but Vizor already took two, and he's eyeing the platter hungrily. Well, it's probably under the both now, really. Okay, you're not you're not supposed to eat them before the the guests get here, guys. <laughs> well, but they're ours. They're for the guests. Aren't we just aren't aren't the three of us just guests at Crane's estate? Okay. Have, have you either of you been to any kind of party before? Not including, like, crazy parties in a tavern. Like, just anything of standing. That's a good question. I'm saying that as Eric. Uh, no, actually. Probably not. Vizor? I, I know you've had to have gone to something with me, Vizor, right? Like, some kind of feast or gathering that I've had. I, um, you guys doing outside? Oh, hi, Crane. Perfect timing. Uh, Nash and I got stuff for the guests. Well, that's excellent. We're almost ready. Crane, you left the door open. I hope I'm standing right in front of the door, John. Reinhold, would you like a cannoli? No, Nash and I. I'll wait till tea time starts. If it makes you feel better, I only had one at the stall to test if they were, like, like sweet well, enough. See, that's that's okay. That's fine. You had to make sure that the product you were buying was good. That's okay. okay. Giving Vizor two of them to eat while we're waiting for people to arrive at tea time, not as good. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, Reinhold. I, I never would. Uh, I barely saw him grab them. Oh. Then it disregard. Was, it, was, it, was, it was faster than I think I could have feasibly reacted. They must have been hungry. Did, did we did we eat today? Did he have? Did you we guys have woke up like an hour ago? Yeah, I've been mostly just kind of lounging on the couch. I think I slept there last night. Okay. Anyway, for future reference, Nash and I, part of tea time is its presentation. Okay. So, uh, so something that won't leave much of a, like a mess because this is this has like right from what I can understand to be powdered sugar and a green filling. Correct. So something it's that would also bolt. cheese. Cheese. There's cheese in here. There are cheese and cannolis. Yes. What kind of cheese? Uh. Cheddar. Ricotta. It, no, it's not. No ricotta. one asked. You, nerd. Um. Gorgonzola. No. Hold Gouda? on. Oh, mascarpone. Yes, mascarpone. That was actually Drew that remembered. No, that's the guy who invented cannoli. <laughs> okay. That was Al Capone's uh, nephew, Mars Capone. It's Al Capone from Mars. Yeah. Also, on the same subject of presentation, if you were to, in this instance, buy baked goods, you would want to make sure that you had an amount that would be presentable looking. So if it's a plate that can fit an amount of eight, it looks better when there's all eight there. If you only bring five inside for a plate the size that can fit a size that can fit eight and it's going to look like something you either cheaped out you ate some beforehand something like that we did very, eat some beforehand it's very very tea time is stupid let me just put it that way really tea time is stupid i'll be back guys it's not uh, running down the street grabbing more cannolis must be 
How is tea time stupid? It sounds fun. Okay. <sighs> tea time is great if it's something you've never experienced before. That's fine. I've been and I've had to sit through many tea times with many higher nobles and I can promise you it gets very boring very fast. Okay. I mean, it's food and drink. That's not boring. But it's all boring food and boring drink. Cannolis sound amazing. Cannolis are good, but cannolis aren't good for tea time. So where did uh, Nash and I go? I think he went to go grab more cannolis. Where did he put the ones that he already got? He... On, on, on the, like, next to the stairs, probably. I will pick them up. Azur. You're not allowed to have any more of these. Retrieve the cannolis. Scales, okay. I will put you down. Oh, that, that's it? Come on, Scales. You didn't even try. <sighs> Listen, he's going to grab more. Take one more and get just get back inside, please. Okay, so we have cannolis, we have tea, we have our doorman. So we just sit and wait for them to show up now? After now, I get back? Is, is the inside presentable? Is, is, I is think so. Plating and, and, and everything else? I mean, we have plates, yeah. Seating? We have seats, yeah. Okay. Tables, please. We have tables, too. Okay. Wait, um, did, are you supposed to do anything with them? It might be better to have them. it outside, actually. You think so? Well, yeah, I mean, and he heads off. And he looks down the sort of alley past the garden. Says, There's like two big picnic tables out there, or at least one big one. Okay. That was supposed to be fancy. Fancy it, things happen inside. Okay, well, he's, he's, he's not wrong. But. Who? Me or Chan? Are you Chan. playing with the kid now? <laughs> the kid has a name, first of all. Second, yes, I am siding with Sean on this one. He's not wrong. I mean, if you have a garden, tea time in a garden is... I mean, it's a lot more... I don't know. There's more work to be put in the garden than some decorations inside. Right, you can hire a contractor to build you a wall and put some paintings on it, but... I mean, Plus. a garden grown is, is effort put in a lot more than we in some put ways. put effort into our garden yet. Somebody to. did. Plus, it is a beautiful day. Oh, you're back, Nashvani. I got... I'll hold up a different platter. I got cookies this time. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. I thought you were going to grab more cannolis, Nashvani. Well, what kind of cookies? They were a bit heavy. No, you know, you're you're fine. I, it's I, my fault. It's I my figured fault. It'd, be, it'd be a double positive. We could use this instead, and then we can just eat the cannolis now. Nashana, that's brilliant. <laughs> I have my occasional spark. Okay. How many cannolis do we have left, Drew? Oh, God, I'd say... Eh, four. Okay. I haven't had one yet. I haven't had one yet. I've had one. Zor's had three. Whoa. <laughs> I've had two, and Scales has had one. If... Oh, does Scales, does scales eat, eat? Well, no, he's more he holding one. It it was, yeah. I, I mean, I'll forgo my second so the both of you can have two. No, no, no. That's not necessary. I'll take one. Crane can have one. We'll give one to Chan. And that leaves one. All right, Scales, work it up. Is there going to be oil on it? I hope not. Come on. <laughs> God. We could save. We could save the last one for Ember whenever we does, find her. Does scales have a gag reflex. Can I? I didn't. That's like, more the gear mean. grinding. I think. <laughs> oh, okay. so we're just like Heimlich maneuvering scales. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, let it go. Cough it up. What's in your mouth? Drop what, it. What's in what your are mouth? you chewing? <laughs> Chew as fast. Get that out of your mouth. <laughs> I would take a bow um, for scales. <laughs> Chan, Chan will say, um, 
you know, you haven't invited anybody. We did too, right? Hold, you totally invited them. Yeah, I, I, I did that already. Ah, bring hold. John, would you like a cannoli? Are you trying he, to tell uh, us something, John? He looks like... Contentiously. That's definitely a word. There's... No. Are you good, it's John? Sugar. I'm gonna... I, I'm gonna go take him one. I'll, I'll be right back. Is it's John okay? I don't think Sean wants to be working. Well, if we have it outside, he doesn't even have to do the doorman thing. I think that's why he wandered outside. Mm. Where'd he go? There he is. Hello. I forgot this. These cannolis are great. I brought you a cannoli. Okay, I think I've got Crane. Um, is he going with the outside thing? I believe so, yes. Okay, okay. All right, I'll be nice. Do you want this cannoli? No, I, I, I've never had one, but I'll try it. Yeah, I, did, I haven't. I haven't had one either before today. They're a lot, but oh. like a lot it, of sugar. It looks like a little bit of crust bread or something with a lot of bit of filling. Yeah, I thought it was ridiculous as well, but as soon as you take that first bite, it's. It's it's downright heavenly. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go share it with the parents. Yeah. Starts to oh, yeah, take yeah. off. And so the tale of the delicious cannoli begins. How do you? I'll just be coming back, like whispering, like, how do you split a cannoli into three? Not long I okay. ways. Diagonals. Uh, say that again, Craig. Is, is Chan okay? Uh, yes, he was. Uh, he had not had a cannoli before. Okay. He's not allergic, is he? Not have having had them before. I don't think he knows. Oh, okay. Only if oh. he's lactose intolerant. Oh. Wait, there's cheese in these. We've been over this. Oh, oh no. Something you want to tell him, National? <laughs> Something could be dairy wrong. Oh. Shame. Uh, <laughs> the well, arrow of shame. <laughs> if there's okay. anything else that you guys would um need, I will I will be back. I suppose Where I should Where'd probably... Rosnay go? I suppose I should probably put on some more presentable clothes then. Wait, do we all have to change? It's not the bathroom. It's tea time, Crane. It's all about being fancy. You have to put you on keep your best that. clothes. But I, okay. don't, I don't own any other outfit other than my loincloth and whatnot. Remember that one time you had a kill? Same arrow. <laughs> You're right. I had to close the door first. Remember that one time the Berserk had a kilt? I remember the kilt, yes. God, why don't oh, I, I remember don't... the kilt? I don't remember the kilt either. <laughs> I think you, you wore the kilt for the fancy dinner we had with the, the Zabern. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. Correct. Let me see if I actually have fancy clothes in my inventory. <laughs> I don't know anything about I don't think that. I don't see nothing. <laughs> and, uh, well, they well, might I be will, in, like party storage as well. I will go doff my armor and okay. don my... Uh, my nice clothes. Best hope we not be getting into any fights today. With two neighbors, I doubt it. Yeah, oh. Sick him now. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> okay. Uh, easy enough to get all this ready. How how much? How in depth are we going here? I mean, Crane will put on his fancy clothes. Okay. Okay. I only have the one outfit. <laughs> True. Okay. Do you put like sparkles on your mask or something? No. Oh. No. No. Okay. So right. after some time, uh, I'll say this happens maybe right before noon. Why not? Um, 
two neighbors will arrive if you want to uh, make yourself to the front door to greet them. Um, both seem to come from the same house. What, what was that it? Or were you waiting for us? Oh, no, no. I'm just doing something with the tokens real quick. I was going to greet them at the, the gate, I suppose. Or at the, the middle of the courtyard. I don't care. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I just don't want them appearing <laughs> hostile to y'all. A little, little bit of a Too late. They already have... Oh, they had red squares. Now I guess they, they don't have red squares. Um... But there is a, uh, a half-elven man, um, pretty slim, wearing some leathers. Um, looks like he is uh, decently tall, maybe, uh, maybe six feet, maybe a little bit older. Um, probably equates to somewhere around 30, 35 uh, in human years. Um, he's got these sort of uh, almost lime green eyes um, in this blonde hair that sort of hangs down below his shoulders a bit. Um, he's got these very long and sh like sharp eyebrows that extend past his head um, that are almost sort of, they look sort of like permed there or gelled like a point. Um, and he's wearing like black and brown leathers, pretty nice. Um, he brought a, uh, it seems that he has brought a potted plant. Uh, and with him is a um, half-orc woman. Um, got sort of pale green skin um with uh sort of these kind of short sharpened tusks um probably close to 40 years old i'd say maybe a little bit older um average size doesn't look as strong as the half elven man does um however she also seems um she almost seems more like blue collar and working class um you can sort of just see it as they both approach. Um, her skin's a bit more like weathered and worn. Um, and what you can see actually is um, on the side of her head that is sort of covering the ear with the hair, um, when the wind sort of picks up and blows, you see that a small piece of her right ear is uh, missing. Um, and she's got these sort of purple amethyst eyes. Uh, and some like, freshly shaved uh, eyebrows, but wearing fine robes, and um, she seems to be, ha she has an arm around uh, the half-elven man, um, and they will approach. Uh, and the, the man will say, um, uh, it's been quite some time since we were invited to a, uh, a midday lunch or tea, but I I brought a, uh, a flower as a gift. Oh, that's very generous. Thank you. I wasn't expecting any gifts. I, I'm sure Crane appreciates it. Got a uh, flower. Uh, hello. Um, are, are you Crane? That's, that's me, yes. I'm Crane. I would move, except I can't for some reason. There we go. Hello. Hello, my name is uh, Azaki Brock. Um, we live next door on the left. Um, this is my wife, Ola. Hello. Ola and Azaki. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Um, uh, where would you like us? Uh, Reinhold, where did we decide to, to set up the tea time? Uh, we were going to go to the uh, the back deck near the garden. Okay, let us go traverse the corners to parade around to the back deck. They will trust you and follow your lead. Shall, shall we, Reinhold, do you want to lead the way? I, I suppose I'll lead the way. Okay. If oh, you'll that's, follow me. That's a way to oh, go. Yeah, that, I was, was... going to take the stairs. Oh, don't worry. It's a, it's a small step. Look, they're jumping off everywhere. It's all implied. <laughs> yes. All my stairs are implied. 
Uh, move screen. <laughs> Bruh. Why are you stuck? You can just click and drag. See, I would, but my mouse is currently broken. Nice. Uh, they will seat themselves in the middle, if possible. There we go. I will uh, drop a bit of a, a kettle. You'll put the kettle on. A bit of a kettle, in it? Tuesday. <laughs> uh, <and laughs> Our stream is very offensive to any British person. Chips. Any British person. <laughs> the crisps. Alright. Abna. There's going to be some ups out here. There we go. Look at Look, we're doing all right. Um, the uh, the flower that uh, Azaki brought would Azaki brought looked to be uh, akin to like tulips. These are beautiful flowers. Did they grow in the the garden of of your house? Uh, we do have a garden, yes. Um, I, I work mostly as a um, as a seamstress, but when I have my free time, I like to tend to the garden as much as I can. Ah, a seamstress. That is quite the trade. Do you own your own business? Uh, I have a supplier that I sell to. That, that is fascinating. And And... What Mr. Mr. Crane? Mr. Zaki? Brock? Brock? Goodly? Zak? I, I believe Crane is asking what uh, what you do as well. Uh, well, I um, I used to work as a um, as a farrier. I tend to uh, horse and other beasts of burden. So anything that needs anything that needs shoeing or whatnot. Um, I was your man. Uh, I recently came into uh, a bit of coin through my family, um, and I'm sort of still plying my next uh, trade where I can. But we've we've done good enough to where we had a bit of money saved up, so um, I mean, really, Vola does her work now mostly for the hobby, um, but being hands off with a lot of the sales, it definitely takes uh, an ease of mind uh, approach for her. Well, this neighborhood is ease of mind for us all, is it not? It's quite beautiful. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it does well. Um, I think we're, we're lucky to be in the place we are. May, may we offer you some tea? We have uh, matcha and I think black and maybe um, oolong? It's from Jaipei. Did not mean to. I will bash your skull in. <laughs> I'm going to sit on the deck. Matcha comes out on the deck to say that. I think we both prefer matcha. Uh, and Vola will ask him. Uh, so what do you do for a living, uh, Mr. Crane? Um, we are, uh, 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 you could say freelancers. By trade, we like are... Like music? Uh, um, no. We, uh, we defend what is good and just and... Reinhold, help me out here. <laughs> we are a form of adventurers. Your <laughs> Reinhold says <leadership>. nothing. <laughs> Reinhold? <laughs> I think he 
just letting you have your moment, Rain. <laughs> yes, we we adventured and defend the the. Thank you for the speech bubble. Mm. <clears throat> defend what is right and good for all and fairness and justice, oh. of as are well. We, are we describing me right now? No, oh, uh, Reinhold, wow, take it away. Flex. Effectively, oh. we were asked what we do, Sir Reinhold. Oh. Oh, continue, Crane. My apologies. Uh, but no, I, I don't want to interrupt. You go ahead. No, go I, right I ahead. legitimately I took know. a phone call and had to, and just came back, so I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I thought it was super funny that you were just letting Crane answer this one. Well, I, I can continue. I can I can take off from where you left off, Crane. By all means, please. Uh, well, um, we uh, I, I forgot what Crane said because I wasn't here. Um, I heard something about freelancer and then defending good and righteousness and something like that. Yeah, pretty much. That's yeah. all Crane said, really. That's as far okay. as Crane got. Uh, well, I I will elaborate a little bit further here. Um, we uh, I would say we consider ourselves um. Thank you. Uh, um, in in the the bluntest possible terms, adventures. Um, uh, me personally, I, my name is Reinhold. I am a, a knight and a, a paladin of Tosh. Um, Crane here is, well, Crane is a bit of an enigma, but I would I would categorize him as uh, uh, a man of nature, um, uh, a, a ranger if you will um uh to the left of crane is vizur he is uh very mechanically minded and also magically minded um a bit of a what's the word what's the word inventor no innovator no his class artificer artificer <laughs> uh <laughs> uh the the man to my right, uh, sitting at the other table, is uh, goes by the Nashnai. Um, similar to myself uh, and all of us in that respect, we he defends good and um, upholds justice, uh, not unfairly, judging people if they should decide to uh, repent or be want to be forgiven for their sins. Um, First name D, last name Nashnai. Yes. Uh, behind you is uh, one of uh, Vizur's inventions. His name is Scales. Right. Um, and uh, we've, we've made several friends along the way, but I think that'd be a very long conversation. But, uh, yes. Um, that's, that's what we do. We go around doing the right thing. Sometimes we make a little bit of money and we put it back into this or getting ourselves ready for the next adventure. Sounds like, uh, sounds like quite the, um, undertaking here. It's quite dangerous out there. It is. Oh, we haven't died yet, so. Well, actually, that's not right. We've died at least once. I, I don't think they need to hear about that, Crane. I, I don't think they came here to hear about those kinds of stories. That's okay. But... Let's get that part. Yes, uh, but yes, it, it, it can be dangerous um, to the unprepared. But uh, if you know what you're doing, and if you have the the right amount of faith, or at least intellect, you can pretty much get past anything. I, I would assume so. We, um, uh, myself and Vola actually uh, both served uh, time a while ago under a, a military outfit. Oh, really? Which uh, which outfit? Uh, we were also freelancers of a sort. Um, we worked out of uh, Terran's Cross. Um, really just a band of no-gooders. Uh, but we would often get contracted by local government to, um, you know, assist when half of a force was out sick or uh, when events were in town that needed extra security, things like that. Um, every now and then, if there was no... Um, beast catchers out in uh, the locales uh, around the city we would get dispatched uh, every so often to take care of um, wild roaming things that present a threat uh, nothing so much as 
any large battles or war, but definitely got the bills paid. Well, I would say sometimes all you need is to get the bills paid, right? Yes, we. I think we, we both believe that um, <laughs> our work does not have to make us uh, happy, but it's better than better than wasting what little time we do have. Bills different from taxes. Uh, for now, yes, but we'll leave it at that, Crane. Okay. So <laughs> taxes <laughs> uh, on a lighter subject. Um, I how, have to pay taxes. How long have you two been married? <laughs> oh no, uh, we're actually um, we're we're just uh, close friends and stayed uh, stayed close after service together. Uh, no, uh, no marriage. Uh, did I miss here? I thought he said that was his wife. No, he used we. Maybe I misheard then. The he, did use, he did use we and together, but he never said uh, anything about me. Understood. Uh, wow, Reinhold. Right they make a cute couple. Me. They certainly are standing next to each other. <laughs> good, good job, Reinhold. How, how long have you been in the neighborhood then? Oh, I think we've been here um, two years now. Yeah, about two years, I'd say, after we finished our uh, uh, last service at the cross, our last, um, I think it was an escort mission for a, some parade or something at the time. Um, yeah, no, came here, um, had a pretty decent deal that we could make for property. Um, like I said, had enough saved up to where it was feasible, um, and just been... Finding work around here ever since, um, I had a bit of a bit of inheritance come from me um, from a a frugal family member that was able to equally give out some shares to us. So I figured I'd at least set myself up a little bit for the uh, remainder of life, um, whatever that entails, whether it be family or whatnot. Mm, yes, quite. Don't overdo it, Crane. Mmm, quite. Well, well, beyond all that, um, is there any stories you can tell, or uh, anything you're uh, getting into that we should be worried about as uh, as citizens here? You should be wary of pie shops that don't make their own pies. Oh, is that a um? Is that a a widespread uh, occurrence? I, it... I think what Crane means to say is that uh, along our adventures, we had encountered a rather uh, shady uh, pie shop that doubled as a a rather unscrupulous establishment, and. Uh, they, they did not make their own pies. They purchased them. Yes, they were so scrupulous. Nope, that's not the right word. Zaki holds back a bit of a chuckle. They scrupled? Oh no, Crane Scottish. Matcha just, tea makes just, scrupled. <laughs> just, just, just let Scottish. it go, Crane. I thought a scruple was the top of like a church building. <laughs> Come mm. on. No, that's a staple. <laughs> Oh, that's that no. office store. No, you're thinking you're thinking of the thing that doctors use to cut people open. Oh. <laughs> no, that's a scalpel. Oh. <laughs> uh... You're thinking of the two like blades that like come together to slice like paper. No, that's a scissor. You're thinking of the thing that they use for styling on ceilings. Ooh, you got me on that one. I think you're thinking of. Uh huh. You're thinking of spackle? No, but that no, no, spackle to fill holes. Almost said siding. <laughs> no, like stippled. Oh, I have no idea what the hell that word is. Steeple. It's it's an art term where it's like little dots. I think stippled, like popcorn oh. ceilings almost. Oh, kind of like dimpling. But yeah, the opposite way. Yeah, and that was your I home see. improvement tip of the week. 
Nice. <laughs> no, what you're thinking the of The more is... you know. <laughs> no, it's actually another term for, like, an apprentice of sorts. No, that's disciple. Oh, I was thinking pupil. <laughs> I was thinking, like, squire, because we are on S word. Anyway. Right. Can I come uh, to the table now? <laughs> well, you could have always came to the table. Yeah, nobody was stopping you. I think no. skills I, are just I, I, across from I think, I think social graces stop me from coming to the table. Nash and I, please take a seat at the table with us. Yeah, and then skills will... will be at the head of the table. I Naturally, his deserving do... place. I hope yes. you do not mind if I take this seat. Oh, please, I have no mind whatsoever. Uh, and I well, will... um, Mr. Brock, um, have, have you... I saw from this damn... Have you had any luck with, um, with, with business in town or watched any new businesses arise, new business ideas come to, um, tuition? Well, fruition. Thank you. Uh, well, I, I mean, new businesses rising. Um, uh, I will say there is always work, especially being um, so close to the sea. I mean, there's a lot of um, fisheries that trade. Um, every so often there's uh, timber work that needs to be done around the city. Um, don't have many large forests around us, but ones that are, if anything needs to expand, or or certain farmlands, um, that happens as well. There's a lot of, I know, business in the um, the wine space, uh, and even some of the breweries um, further into the uh, uh, further towards the east, uh, delved into things like gin, brandy. Um, so there's work there for mashers and whatnot. See yourself as an investor of sorts. Uh, you know, I, I I think I could, but I'm I'm not exactly sure how that works. Crane, are you sure how that works? I uh, I am making polite conversation at tea time. I'm also making polite conversation at tea time, which there is a proper type of desserts uh, for. Yes, Nashna. Should you, would you like to get the desserts to present to our guests? Of course. Beautiful. The best I can do is some muffins. You got muffins. Close enough. I got muffins. I love muffins. It's tea time. You know I got muffins. Oh, they look like cookies from the top down. <laughs> they, <laughs> they do. do. Like well, that's the problem. Everything looks like one thing from the top down. Where's, Where's the, the multi-layer pizza, Drew? Multi-layer pizza. Wait, it looks like Nash and I has like a blueberry one. Oh, yeah. yeah they're different colors. Stay jealous. What? Wild. I mean, that's probably really hard to see. <laughs> Did I get a chocolate Cranes, chip? Cranes is like yeah. cranberry, kind of. No. I, <laughs> How are, nice. is How like are you discerning Kenberry. these color differences? So I zoomed way zoom in. in, my guy. <laughs> I did. <laughs> zoom I did in, bro. Yellow, uh -huh. yellow with a different one. A third yellow, different one. Red, red. I, I have and red. red. Yeah. I'm the only person with blue, I think. Uh huh. Uh huh. Which means that uh. Oh, I don't remember. Masane favors me over all of you. So. Fair. <laughs> It's because I dream and reflect a lot, so... Oh, Cold. there's a... Here, there's a sweet roll at the top of the table for scales, apparently. Let me guess. Scales. Someone stole your sweet roll. Here, just have all the pastries. There you go, guys. There you go. It's going <laughs> off. It's <laughs> kicking <laughs> off. This tea party's going nuts. <laughs> Pastry party. All right. Guys, you, you said a couple of cookies. I thought you said a country of cookies. It's okay, Nash and I. I thought you said a couple dozen. It's okay, Nash and I. You know, oddly enough, they don't have a cannoli. Who would have thought? We have cannoli? No, they wouldn't. They don't have a cannoli. I tried. I looked. Oh, it's a sad. It's a ate some of them. <sighs> I had another question for them, and I can't remember what it is. <laughs> How much do you make? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's your disposable income? 
Where do you, you know live? What? How much? There are neighbors. <laughs> We've been to a motel. <laughs> oh my god. Are you brothers? Yes. How did you first meet? We're brothers. <laughs> because they were brothers. What was my and they were question? roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. No, but like they're literally roommates. Yeah, you could you could tell from those portraits. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, how? Go how on. did you get your eyebrows to be that distinguished, <laughs> sir? Are you asking? Yes. <laughs> well, um, uh, as if someone knows with um, elven blood, um, sometimes there are irregularities. Um, uh, one of the things that is possible, um, just as, and he gestures to Vola, um, just as some orcish types have um, uh, tusks that grow in a certain manner, um, we might have hair that um, grows uh, more rapidly in certain places or places that are absent hair. Um, it's just uh, oh, luck of the draw, I guess they say. I remembered my question. Hmm. Um, good, good, um, Sir Ozaki and Fair Vola Karakatata. Um, do you know of uh, a gnome named Alston who oh. lives in town? Let's see. Let's see if they do. Oh, we're going to lose favor. Um, God, what would that be? That's Charlatan. I think that's just a general... <laughs> that bitch. I'm going to say this is more of a general wisdom than a general intelligence. Like memory. I, I don't know. History? Who knows? Well, it's... <sighs> I'm trying not to use history for, like, local stuff. Like, have you heard of this person? Like, if he's got, like, a title or something, you, I'll just say general intelligence. Oh, hello. Uh, okay. Hello. That was an house. Uh, Azaki will say, I, I met a man, um, who was a gnome in the city. Yes, uh, could you describe him a bit? Um. Rainbow. That that's a word, yeah. That is a word. <clears throat> uh, I I think I have uh, seen him before. I can't say that I know him. Okay. That seemed kind enough. Yeah, we would say that that is also the experience that we had when we met him. He was our realtor. <laughs> Yours too. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude just owns the whole block and just gives it away with trivial things like Deuces. steal this for me. <laughs> I want the cannolis, please. Steal it and you no, have, you have a two bedroom house. Uh, deal? <laughs> what? Like a tulip mania. Yeah, but we we met him once. He was pretty cool, but we did I think, you know, we could all probably use more of like a third party's opinion on him, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you agree, Reinhold? Yeah, he was definitely a businessman of of a large caliber. Well, I mean, he he was short. I meant in the like the metaphysical sense. The the, the yes, the metaphorical sense. The metaphysical physics. Alrighty. Uh, is there anything else you will wish to ask of Azaki and Vola? When would you like to invest in Crane's bed and breakfast? That's that's oh, what you God. ask at the next tea time. I was gonna say I forgot that was a thing. That's a second date sort of thing. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm loving it. I mean, that is low-key why Crane mentioned it, <laughs> the investing. I know why Crane <laughs> mentioned the investing. I know you know. Oh, I love it. Listen, I played a greedy bastard in the game once, okay? 
When would you like to invest in Tiba Dogecoin? Oh, out. no. Out. Womp, Get out. Womp. Shame. I have the arrow of shame. Yeah. Shame. Yeah. <laughs> the <Womp>. double arrow. <laughs> oh, Vizor's just mad. Oh, I'm big chilling, dog. I'm having a great time. Hope Vizor, and speed, Vizor. I will say, Vizor, how are you reacting to all this? Vizor is not the best in social situations, so he's just kind of giving that blank reptilian stare to everyone, mm. who, yeah. whoever's talking. One one eye blinks at a time kind of deal. Yeah, the, the slits are real narrow, so you can tell there's nothing going yeah, on up there. I, I feel that. How, how is he doing with like his cannoli and, and his cookies? Oh, anything that was set in front of Vizor is gone. But is he eating it, you know, like... Like an actual reptile, or is he kind of just yeah. kind of like you know being yeah, no, somewhat? I say take less. One end of the cannoli in my mouth, and I just start fucking rolling. <laughs> <laughs> like an alligator. <laughs> Don't mind him. That's normal. Beautiful. New people stress him out. I say new people stress uh, him out. Yeah. I, oh, I I know the feeling. I, I struggle with that. Whoa, it's getting late, is, isn't it? We should do this again sometime. Maybe, like, you know, whenever we're in town, we can have tea. Uh, I, I will have to, um, I, I'll have to take you up on that. The pastries were very delicious, and, um, please, uh, uh thank, uh, your, um, uh, associate for the tea for us. It was very good. We, we will pass on that message. Thank you for uh, coming over on such short notice. It was oh, it was uh, a delight course. to have you. Oh, it was it was good to get out. I am um, I appreciate the invite, even if it's uh, just next door. Um, perhaps uh, at some other time we can. Uh, I don't know if you. I mean, well, I'll say it. You, you all look like the type that might want to grab a pint or a, or a, a glass of wine. Yes, please. That would be much more preferable to this, I would admit. 100%. <laughs> well, nonetheless, we, we enjoyed uh, our, our short stay here. and uh, Again, thank you for uh, being so kind. I hope you uh, enjoy the plant and it finds a, a place in your garden. Thank you very much again for joining us here. and um, Please enjoy the rest of your day. I'll, uh, if you're ready, I can take you to the front and walk you both out. Oh, I think we can manage. Uh, if we get lost, uh, maybe maybe it's true that uh, you put something in the tea and, uh, well, <laughs> that'll affect us coming back, but I, I have faith. If you get lost, we'll send one of our guards out to find you, don't worry. Oh, yes, it'll be a short jog, I, I assure you. Uh, and they <laughs> Stay will safe. Be cordial, get up, thank you all. It was a pleasure to meet you both. And then get damped into the plant. Out the plant. <laughs> Zor, you really, that... you really have to stop rolling when we have guests over. Uh, sorry, I just feeding time, you know. I get it. Don't worry, I get it. But like, like you, there's a time and a place for the death rolls, and like, tea time is not the time or the place. Probably was already dead. You didn't really need to roll it. I think sure. that went well. Otherwise, I think so too. What were we talking about? I think Crane was trying to get them to invest in something. Maybe, baby steps. Maybe later. Baby later. No. I Please have protection, Vizur. I have exactly this bulb of plant. Oh, can can we um um like nature check the plant? Uh, sure. Is it like is it like fresh cut flowers or is it like an actual plant you could put in the ground? Uh, you I'd put say it's in the ground if you try hard enough. <laughs> I'd say you could put it in the ground. I mean, they did bring it into in a pot. Okay. So, so you could replant it. Yeah. I could probably right. defeat a plant. So that's that's a, a nature plant check. Sure. I could also defeat a plant. So we could both put them in the ground. Nature. That's right. All right. What are you trying to uh, gauge about this? Um, what kind of plant is it? Um, is there any like? symbolism behind the plant mm. uh, is it a poisonous plant 
Uh, you know what? Actually, let me pull this up here. If I'm not mistaken. Our neighbor's trying to kill us. <laughs> uh, no, you're pretty. You're pretty sure they're not going to try and kill you. Um, pretty sure. <laughs> so uh, a tulip is like the um, like the national plant of the uh, Valorlands. Huh. So they're nationalists. Well, I don't wow. Think a wow, bulb... well, that was a conclusion. <laughs> I don't think a tulip bulb signifies that per se. Symbolism, Drew. Symbolism. <laughs> and the author wrote that the curtain was blue, which means no, it means the curtain was blue. And that's the end. I'm going away. No, now. it means the author was nope. a nationalist. Nope. Curtain was blue. It was a it was a lovely blue curtain. Uh I'm gonna put it by the uh the pool for now, the pond, as it were. Okay. The pool or the pond, which one? Uh I, I forgot pond. you have both. That's crazy. Uh, the pond. Damn. It's Whoa, Reinhold. I think for our first tea time, I thought that went well. How did you think that went as a, a connoisseur of the times of tea yourself? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, notwithstanding the death rolls and the almost talk of investment, I think that went pretty well. What do you mean? I think that would have been a delightful conversation to pursue i don't know why that was well, that would be bad uh, it's usually something you you reserve for like close business associates or like trusted friends like i don't know i, I you just don't go around asking your neighbor if they want to invest in your bed and breakfast seems kind of like a social faux pas hmm. there's a lot of rules for tea time that's more of a general rule, not so much the tea time rule. Okay. So if we want to ask them to invest in the business, what do we do? We have to take them out for like golf or something? How about this, Crane? Why don't we get to know them a little bit better? Okay. And it seems like they were more interested, at least Vola was, in maybe something a little bit less stilted. You know, I am also cool with that. I just, you know, I feel like you have to make a good impression. And I think oh, that's absolutely. how you make a good impression. Absolutely. You start off with the, the high society and you move down to the, you know, the rabble. The death rolls? No, the death oh. rolls is like the very bottom. That's when, <laughs> like, you can trust them with your life. Uh-huh. But, like, we can we can go to a, we can have a few pints here instead. Maybe a little bit more of a laid back okay. gathering. Like a barbecue. Sure. That'd why be not? ideal. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. We could have like toad barbecue or something. Not a bad idea. Toad? Where we cook. Yeah. Toad, where, where are we gonna find like like the big toad that we Maybe. found in in Night's nice Reach? Yeah, something. I, I think we're gonna have a harder time finding that here. Okay. We have everyone... a couple of small toads in the pond. Yeah. Yeah, small toads. Everyone gets it's a personal toad well, party. I, I have heard of some places using frog legs as a sort of fancy ingredient for a meal. But you just said we didn't have to do fancy anymore. No, we don't I have to. I, think I prefer a lack of fancy moving forward. I, I was just thinking maybe we could just get some, you know, like some meat, regular uh, meat. I'm gonna beef, ask I'm chicken. gonna ask a question mid session right now. Are we okay going a little bit later than normal tonight? Every single night that we do the session, I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah. You never, never, ever have to ask me. I bought an extra Red Bull just in case I you will, answer that question. I will Aww, play multiple so hours past midnight. Okay. You're, you're all very sweet. I just didn't... I don't want to rush too much sure. stuff, but I do want Whatever. to move content along, so I don't... Uh, just internal pacing type stuff. So. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Tea time slowed us down. True, yeah. we enjoyed we enjoyed the session. It's important. Tea time was worth it, just for the cannoli. No, I, you see, I'm not you saying say it's a bad you thing. enjoy the session, but my mind is like, I can hate it. All right, all right. First of all, imposter syndrome. <laughs> all right, that's, that's my. <laughs> you want me to? You, you want me to Among personally us. come over there? And no, like no, no. Beat beat the insecurity out of you because I will. Well, that's, you know, it, that's, I install word, security me. systems, not insecurity systems. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That <laughs> bars. Bars. 
We got <laughs> we got quote number two of the night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wham, wham. No, that one was good. I'll, one I'll, was take, I'll good. take quote. I'll take quote number two of the night. I, I'm fine with that. That was oh, good. Someone actually slap it on the quote board because you better. Oh, oh yeah, that's Lord. Why, that's why okay, I'm, I'm back. Welcome. Oh Lord. Did you have to mute I didn't that? realize you left. I did. Oh man. I had to mute. I was starting to die. <laughs> what, what was the first? What was the first quote that E did? Uh, I have to I, go back after it's uploaded. Okay, I don't well, remember what the first quote was. There were there was actually quite a few. We will revisit it. Was it Gallanty? No, it was Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, I like that it's one. Not that. Oh, uh, mind your manners. I don't know. I don't. Mm. Oh, was that when you were like, you have a manner or something? Oh, uh, no. I said, we'll let Crane mind his manner, and then we will mind our manners. Yeah. But that wasn't really... That wasn't a knee slapper. Fair. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I do. Alrighty. Oh. Is there anything uh, you would all like to speak about while you are uh, gathered around your sort of family meeting table uh and enjoying some tea and, and trumpets as it were how long is it until we have to pay the people that we hired uh it's monthly so you're not even close yet okay it's only been like a week or two and i think you paid like the first month or so. yeah. because we weren't sure how long we were going to be away yeah. and we we overshot it by quite a bit you know sometimes uh, you have well, access to teleportation i as much as I enjoyed the overload of sugar that was that cannoli as well as the conversation, mm. I think I might need to work off some of that. You need some fruit. Uh, yes. Uh, which, oh, that reminded me. The next time, if we invite people that we don't like over, uh, we could always have a platter of durian. Ugh. So that <laughs> only if eats it. Please no. We like durian. Durian's not bad. I did not like durian. Bug apple. That seems like a personal problem. <laughs> uh, I mean... Why Why don't we just not invite people we don't like over? I don't know how lordlings, like, interact. I, I don't know if you're supposed to invite them anyway, but then, like, underhandedly make fun of them. Uh, yeah, you're supposed I'm, to be all none, fake to them on of, purpose? None of, us, none of us here are lordlings, though. Aren't, aren't you one? I'm a, I'm a knight, not a lord. Isn't that? Gosh, knight. A You're a knightling. Y yes, uh, I'm a minor noble, but I mean, that doesn't mean I go around carousing with lords and barons and kings. I, I think you know how to, though. I may know how to. That doesn't mean I'm going to spend my time doing so. I feel like Ambra, of all people, would probably know how to do this best. Yes. Ember would. Sure, had Ember host tea time. Well, why don't you go pick up Ember then, Crane? I don't know where she is. Ah. Have any of us been looking? We've been hosting tea time now, Shani. Duh. I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone. I'm, I'm gonna go put on my armor. Somebody's watching me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a lyric, you know, from that song. <laughs> Thank you, True. Yeah. Um, how, how in the world did Google hear you say that and also <laughs> somehow get Hey Google out of that and also start playing that song? <laughs> fucking beautiful. I what change the fuck? lives hey, here. Hey Google, what's my address? Oh no! <laughs> get doxxed. Get doxxed, <laughs> Dude, that's scary though. I'm... You guys are in my headset. How did it hear you? I'm in your walls. 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 Why your skin's really uncomfortable? Something tells me there's somebody in my walls. No. Okay, Google, play Despacito. Nope, not this time. I can play it for if you want. No. Let's focus, let's focus in, focus in. Ocean, man. <laughs> All right, tea time was a rousing success. Uh, yeah, we made friends. I am going to do a little bit of exercise to 
try and keep the muscles from being stiff. Just eat a banana, Nash and I. You know what they say. Candy is dandy, but fruit helps you poop. I've never heard anyone say that until you just did that right now, Crane. In fact, I believe you spouted that off of your head, but it's still a good saying, mind you. I did not just spout that off my head. It must be an Amber Hill thing. It might be. It might be. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm not lying. That's totally true, 100%. Well, I'm going to go put my armor on and get ready because I think we'll have to be departing soon. -ish. Yeah, I'm going to untuck my shirt. If any of you would like to join me to limber up, I'll, I'll be out front. Oh, you're going you're gonna to leave yoga class? Uh, it's a form of meditation and exercise at the same time, but I, I suppose. Well, how do you meditate and exercise? Well, some ascetics or some people who would I guess also be part of a monastic tradition they say that uh, meditation is to clear your mind and remain still I would uh, I would argue that uh, if you have a routine or a specific motion that you go through you almost have that state of mind when in motion so it's a routine that I like to do uh, usually you guys aren't awake yet when I do it Oh. So it's yoga? Yes. Okay. You know what? I'll do that with you. Would anyone else also like to join us? Please. Yeah, let's sure, why not? Alright, excellent. <laughs> Brian, hold you're going to do yoga in armor? I'll I haven't put my armor on yet. Oh yeah, because he had his fancy clothes on. Fancy. Do you get any um uh like spiritual uh pleasure while doing your sort of routine, Nashne? Uh if nothing else, I guess it'd be a case of sort of um like mind follows body, the body, you know, goes into that routine and sort of almost loosens up and by that extension so does, you know, the mind. Pleasure is a sin. Incorrect. I've, I've heard. <laughs> okay, so how would you uh, how would you guide your friends in this um... what's the word I'm Exercise? Say, yeah, I was going to say act, but it was too generic. Uh, well, um, as Crane had pointed out, it is effectively a type of uh, meditative movement that uh, incorporates a certain amount of stretches uh, into uh, different breathing techniques. Uh, you can physically not seem like you're doing much, but from what I imagine, it would work up quite a sweat. So I guess uh, I'll take a stance of sorts. Uh, just follow my motions, and this specific breathing is what I would say to do. He would inhale while doing this for five seconds. He would hold it for three, and then you would release for two. So everybody with me? Okay. As you no. breathe in, you get the uh, sort of scent of the uh, flowers in the garden uh, sort of wafting past you in the sort of cool fall air. Now, with that, when you have that, you feel that as part of the routine, then you incorporate movement as still doing this breathing technique. I will begin to do a small bit of um, kind of uh, like almost like a stretch routine that uh, I guess would be a little 
a little yoga-esque. Maybe some Tai Chi-like movement put in there. I breathe again. Oh my god, yes, Crane, you're supposed to be breathing the entire time. <sighs> oh my gosh. This is harder than I thought. The breathing? Yeah. I don't think about breathing. I just do it. It's, uh, funny enough, it's a similar technique to uh, allow me to sleep easier at night if you follow that breathing uh, regimen. It helps to keep your mind focused on the act of breathing itself, and in any case, sort of almost pulls your attention towards it, as for us, walking, eating, sleeping, breathing are routine. They don't require effort. Yeah, why do you have to make it require effort? So you have a greater mastery over it. I was a good master of it before when I didn't have to think about it. How long do you think you can hold your breath, Crane? Well, judging by how I almost passed out, like maybe 30 seconds. I could hold mine for 15 minutes. What? Yes. And I myself, I think, am around six or seven. My gosh. Uh, yeah, a, what is that's it? A, one, one minute plus your con mod? Uh, yeah, so for me it's five. Yeah, These okay. folk have whole breath. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. So yeah, Crane, you can go for about three minutes holding your breath. Oh. Crane is out of practice. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole part, the point of, like, focusing on it is making it more difficult for him. It might be the mushroom consumption. Uh, unlikely. <laughs> Got the old Unrelated. spore along. It's right. Azor, you seem to be quite the natural at this, actually. Uh, it's no different than uh, limbering up before a hunt. I suppose as uh, I suppose being a creature of both land and sea, you have quite an understanding of fluid motion. It's the part when we get to sit and watch the butterflies. That comes after. Okay. No, Crane, widen your stance. You, you, nope, nope. Can I skip not, to the after? Not that much. Nope. You're, you're threatening to do the splits. Oh, ow! Come on. <laughs> Hold on. I got you. This hurts. Yep. Now make, make sure to keep your breathing in. <laughs> Scales, you're a natural as well. Scales, you know, doesn't well. have to Stand breathe. Out his head. <laughs> and you can rest now. Crane just collapses in a pile. <laughs> See, now, after taking a moment and breathing in the air, letting your muscles relax letting your lungs relax back into natural motion. You feel as if you're ready to tackle the day. I feel like the day tackled me. Would you like me to get you some water? No. I'm just going to lay water, here and die. I'm going to just lay here for like 10 minutes. Is, is Crane grumpy? I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Admittedly, it was not the best for us to have had only sweets for food this morning, but well, yeah. this noon. But uh, it helps at least to sort of soothe that discomfort as my stomach still hurts a little bit. Rain rolled over and he's already asleep. Ah, uh, there it is. It's an after tea nap. Yes. A valuable after tea nap. 
scales will snuggle up and rest his head on Crane's belly. Very good. All right. You know, Vizor, you would probably be a natural if you ended up taking up the martial arts. Yeah, but there's not enough room in his brain for all that extra stuff. I suppose you already have quite the diverse and powerful skill set, as well as your magic. Oh, stop. You flatter me. I do not flatter merely by telling the truth. Um, well, should we begin prepping for a journey? Yes, uh, I must equip my armor and my sword. Oh, I am finished. It appears I am finished. <laughs> Let me do the same. I am ready. Like I said, natural. Scales, go your... Oh, wait. <laughs> we are all naturals. Where's Reinhold? I believe he's still putting on what? his armor. Reinhold, are you done putting on your armor yet? Sure. Perfect. We were we all talking about how we needed to put on our armor, and we realized all of us were already good. I don't know where we're at. <laughs> oh, they, no. They went to the front of the house. They did slip oh, something okay. into your tea. Perhaps. Crane. Crane, what did you put in the tea? Crane is asleep still. Oh no. <laughs> That's not great. All right. So. Oh, there he is. Oh. You just come out. You just come out and see scales like, like cuddling up to a Crane, who's like laying on the ground. Looks like uh, meditation went well. Uh, it did. I figured out that if I were ever to leave the party, I would probably appoint Vizur as the next master of the martial arts. D does that imply that the martial arts do not extend to anything besides your fists? Well, I was more talking about his movements specifically and his stamina when it comes to the uh, air of the breath. And... He, he's just being kind and sweet. Oh, very good. Also, and that makes Reinhold, you second how... in command. Reinhold, how long can you hold your breath? Uh, About three minutes. Huh. Impressive. I feel like all of us can hold our breath for a decent amount of time. Although the three of us together cannot match how long Vizor can. He does sort of have a, a built-in win there. And still. And then, of course, Scales uh, wins the game by not playing. Yeah, somebody's got to win like that. So... With that in mind, our next objective, I imagine we should redouble our search for Embro, correct? Indeed. Okay. We so should probably wake Crane up. <laughs> By the end of uh, the day, uh, you will uh, have a way to get in touch with her. In fact, she is um, currently she has a room uh, at the at the sort of in tavern combo closest to uh, where you met Alston and did all your uh, shopping and all that. Um, Makes sense. On top of that, um, is there anything that you want to do while you are um, in town still, whether it be, um, you know, shopping, whatever, 
anything, any sites. I know Reinhold already took his uh, tithe from, you know, uh, <laughs> whatever the current hotness is. Um, let me see. Uh, could I check uh, if there is a sort of local uh, either wizardry or like enchanter service? Uh, yeah, I think I was going to say, what are you asking for in particular? I was wondering if there was a chance I could get a price or availability on having my blade enchanted. Ah, I see. I realize I've taken advantage of Vizur's uh, artifice for quite a while. Um, let's see here. Uh, as it turns out, uh, Alston could probably get that done for you. Oh, no. Um, that being said... Uh, he would actually need the blade for a while. Um, so you would have, you'd have to either borrow another weapon, uh, or just <laughs> go on without the purchase and hope to find another blade in the future, perhaps. How long would I, I guess, through the discussion, how long would a while be? Uh, it depends. What type of enchantment are you looking for? Um, nothing terribly fancy. I suppose just a, um, sort of magical strengthening of the blade. I would like to try and avoid it rusting, as well as I know that there are things on our journey that my sword has had difficulty, uh, cutting through. Um, I would say, uh, for a, like a plus one enchantment, that would count the magic... Uh, the weapon as magical and plus one to attack and damage. I'd say he would charge about 600 gold pieces. I see. Um, and it would be ready within about a week. I see. Uh, I unfortunately am not in possession of quite that amount of gold. I get called away before a week is up to... Uh, so, I, I will say, um, in the party funds, there is, uh, about 1,400 gold pieces. However, 1,359 of that is cranes. <laughs> that makes sense. Wait, why? I forget. You put your share of one of the last big splits, I think, in the Dragon Temple, uh, after defeating Daleks here. I think you put a majority of your money in storage. In the house, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I did do that. Yeah, so that wouldn't... Uh, that's Crane's money. <laughs> you gonna go to Crane Assey for a loan? Uh, no, <laughs> I will not be doing that. Okay. I, uh, for the moment, uh, I guess I'll sort of more sling the blade across the back and just, uh, Probably just you know, sort of keep it until I might find a better opportunity to do so. The sword has a bit of a sentimental value. Sure. Uh, the bag of holding also has uh, 400 gold pieces in it. Oh, bag of holding! Oh. Uh, Tosh needs his tithe. Uh, <laughs> you just got a tithe. You tricky dicky. No. Oh, he's he's he's. He's relying on that one level dip in that uh, one class. <laughs> the 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 two um, six sided dice, uh, sort of rattled at that little bit of conversation. Oh, uh, that was weird. Oh uh, lordy, you want more money? I'll take out the dice. Don't say anything on him. Just reacted to uh, the chat you were having. Did did we? Did that 400 gold belong to somebody? Um, I think it was just a little bit of a cut from everybody when we first started putting it in, if I remember. I think so, yeah. It was it was decent money on him. Where yeah, is the storage in the house? Um, 
in the kitchen, I believe. Oh yeah, you, sorry, kitchen. Crane. You had the right idea. It was up there, and then I moved yeah, it to the I'm first floor because right. that's where most people were. So here, you want me to just move you over there? Sure. Okay. Uh, it is the green backpack or a green chest icon. You double okay. click it and go to the inventory. Oh boy. So yeah, there's a total of 1396 in there, and I left an item <laughs> that just says Crane has a share of 1359 gold pieces in this storage. Um, but yeah, you guys have like there's a long sword and a short bow in there. The lock of trickery is on your home storage. Um, there's alchemist supplies, Crane's book of secrets, a couple other miscellaneous things. We don't need to do any acrobatics or anything like that to attempt to meet the uh, gold requirement. Uh, um, I can just sort of... Uh, Elston will tell now. you uh, there's... You can either keep it with him longer to sort of drop the price a little bit, like closer to 500, um, but just the materials and all that kind of just make up the majority of the cost. Um, that, thing, that being said, he's also... I mean... Not to say he's, like, got work, but he's sort of looking for a couple items that are traditionally found um, on, let's say, less than desirable creatures uh, that are home to, or are, I'd say, native to where you're going. Um, so there's always a chance there. I suppose if we, um, if I could get a list of something, I would keep an eye out while we're out and about. Sure, so... I'd say one of the things that he is looking for are uh, Kihimura claws. Okay. Like crone claws. Um, let's see here. It any, seems... any cattle spades? No, no, no cattle spades. No, no cattle spades. Um, cattle spaddles. Uh, he says that the uh, parts of a Kihimura, like the claws, uh, have a certain. Uh, magic resistance to them, like that sort of property. Um, and Excellent. those he would pay like 25 gold a piece for. So really it's just like, like per uh, claw or per like hand. Eh, it's more claw. like per hand. Yeah. It has the I'm claw just on it. Um, but yeah, he just says a lot of it is just the time and the cost of materials. Okay. Uh, would you guys like to go to the uh, canal district, as it were? Your your shopping uh, aisle, as it seems that if you're talking to Allison Going anyway. Shopping. Well, I mean, that's where the store is. Should, should Green store. put some more money in his backpack? It's up to you. Just make sure to reflect it on your, you know, on the storage and all that. That seems like work. I'm gonna not do that. Fair enough. Alrighty. Let me drop y'all in here. Uh, okay. Let's move over, shall we? There we go. Uh, besides that, uh, that sort of blade inquiry, inquiry, uh, I probably wouldn't have anything else uh, specific to ask. Okay. No worries. For if I don't have the money for that, I don't really have the money for much. I feel you. Well, so how much would, would you need? Uh, five hundred and six gold. Uh, I, I had, I had used, used up the large lot. portion of mine to uh, help. Uh, our friend Reinhold towards his blade purchase. Right. Oh. Uh, well, what if you put just a down payment on it, and when he works on it, and you come back with the stuff, uh, maybe you can work it out then? Leave I it now? 
I would prefer not to be parted with it uh, by via that much distance. Oh, that's understandable. Oh, instead of a down payment, you do an up payment. Well, then that I would require pay. him to have the money. Huh. I hadn't thought about that. Here. Pretty much in daytime. Well, I'm sure we'll slay plenty of monsters and make plenty of riches on our next adventure. I hope so. Well, if you find riches, let me know. I seem to be lacking. <laughs> I mean, you did, you know, mug that church earlier. I mean, that's for a tithe. I'm, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Sorry, sorry. It's more like their wallets are tied. Ah. Oh boy. Okay, Ryan, I'll lead the way. Sorry. Where are we going? That's a good question. Uh, should we try to go find this um this tavern of sorts, or were there any other purchases we need to make? Rations? Um healing potions. <sighs> Too broke for that, I can buy rations though. I think you guys do okay on potions. I use Any fun potions. magical oddities? I've got 16 days worth of rations. Do we need more bagpipes or abacuses? No. You sure? Positive. Okay. That was a really quick response. Abacusai. Ab Abacusai, thank you. Good call. All right, then to to the tavern upstairs. Well, d does anybody else need food? I've got sixteen days worth. Oh, uh, I don't think I need it. No. Vazur. I have thirteen days worth. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Crane has I... twenty days worth somehow. Yeah, how about yeah. you, anybody who has I, days of food, go ahead and mark off about five. Okay. So I'm at about five. Cool. But why yeah, don't why don't we just traveling. pool them all together and just subtract it from that? Put it in the bag but of holding? That, that yeah. just adds the step that we're getting rid of by having our own. I suppose that's fair. Right, to the tavern. <laughs> Crane, did you consume a ration? Snack on the way here. Nice. How do you like that bread? One bite is enough to fill the stomach of a hungry man. Bread. I like bread. <laughs> bread. Bread. I like bread. Bread. I like bread. bread. I love it. If toast consumes a lot of books. Are they well bred? Ooh. You you lost me on that one. Not your worst. Nash and I I think I think you need to go home. I don't have a home. Mm. You wanna talk about that? Well, as the Nash and I my home is effectively the road. Is that like a rule? Kind of, yes. So. It's, that's confusing. I could clarify if that's your one question you wanted to ask. Well, it's not the day after Praxmas. That's right. true. That is true. It's not Proxing Day. Remember, if you need to talk about any of that, you have party members there. Did you find the tavern? Uh, absolutely. The tavern is actually uh, this way, one building past the uh, the armorer and a weaponor. Yeah. 
moving out. <laughs> Autobots, <laughs> roll out. <laughs> Where's the door? There it is, I found it. Zor and I are mostly moving in sync. It's kind of bothering me. You hear oh, a bit no. of conversation as you enter. Uh, and the place seems lively enough for lunchtime on uh, on a... I don't even know what day it is, but lunchtime on today. Tuesday, isn't it? Tuesday. <laughs> bit of a Tuesday. <laughs> Remind me again what we are supposed to be doing here. Ember's here. Well, oh. we're getting lunch. Oh, I like lunch. Yeah. Everybody likes lunch. Uh, <laughs> everybody give me, um... Hmm. Lunch check? <laughs> <laughs> For this, I would say give me a history check. History? Oh, no. We have a lot of history with Ember. <laughs> Oh, wow. You guys are smart. Uh, okay. Not so close. That's all good. Um, Bozor, you actually make sense because you're closest. Uh, you vividly, well, I mean, you have a flash yeah, of a moment, I guess, when you see this man here. Um, he either was or looks remarkably like uh, one of the passengers you met on Audrey Gale's ship. Oh. When you were on oh, your yeah. way to Ashfall. This guy. You never spoke with him. I don't think any of you spoke with him, but he was just on the ship. Um, aside from that, yeah, I think the other three people, you know, never, never seen before. But he doesn't seem to recognize any of you, sort of acknowledge that you came in, but hasn't said anything. I won't do anything about that. <laughs> Make a mental note of it. But I want it to right. Let's see here. He's Where's Zebra? <laughs> What I even name it? Is no one else going to get lunch? What's for lunch? I it's don't know. Lunch time. This was uh, this is the Broken Barrel Tavern. All the barrels here seem to be pretty well attacked. <laughs> yeah, you look at the barrels; they don't seem to be leaking, so it should be fine. Maybe they're broken emotionally. God. Or anything like me. Crates and barrels. Need to be <laughs> oh heaven. no. That's the worst type. Uh, you hear... Do any of these people match the description of her brother, do you think? Uh... No, no. no. I was talking to the others. Yeah. Uh, where are you guys um, sitting? Down. Yeah, I was just trying to get a lunch order. Oh, sure. sure. Uh, eventually, you'll have uh, the sort of barman uh, head over and uh, acknowledge you all, and he'll he'll put out like a little pamphlet that has uh, um, actually it probably would be more of a uh, almost like a wax tablet that has sort of etchings in it that's filled Ooh. with some sort of like brushings. I just thank you. Parchment. Yeah, of course. Uh, see anything you like. Let me know. Uh, we have a table open. Please enjoy. Do. I'll give you a couple minutes. I'll head back. Uh, let's see. So it seems that they're doing sort of a, a lunch and uh, brunch type deal. Um, they have uh, sort of a goat and quail egg omelet. Delicious. Um, there's Let's sort of a, eggs. <laughs> there's a um, sort of a spicy rice jambalaya um, with some Ooh. crispy like eel skin strips. Um, 
source locally, obviously, being on the ocean. Um, Man, I'm fucking hungry. Yeah, I want some spicy jambalaya now, thanks. <laughs> That's some good stuff there. There's uh, some marinated artichokes that have some, like, capers uh, on them and served over a bed of, like, some, some mushrooms and rice. Um, and then... Oh, great, look, mushrooms. Mushrooms. <laughs> and there's also it's... some uh, locally sourced, uh, like, oysters as well. I was going to ask for, like, potatoes, but you have me at mushrooms. You're telling me Art choked this dip? Okay. Nah. Nah, fam. That, that ain't it. You're telling me a bear skin to this rug? Ryan, hold what you hungry for. I don't know which one of those was worse. Um, the first one, I think. I'm not too hungry. I think I'll just take something to drink. Yeah, what would you like to drink? It's on me. Oh, um, just you know, whatever ale, whatever they have. Oh hi. I... Oh hello. Uh, what this you is hungry like, for? Only... Uh, this is a one stool, my friend. What are you hungry for? Uh, um, ah, uh, um, I'll also just have an ale. Ah, a whole lot of takers on the food, eh? Man, I would like one of the uh, vegetable thing with the mushrooms, and then one spicy jambalaya, please, and t two ales. Yeah, right. Have it Are coming you up. Thirsty? Are you thirsty? Huh? Me? Are you thirsty? I'm thirsty. You want an ale? Um, how about like a a, a water with lemon? And the water with the lemon, please. Hey, do that. I figured it out. Go on. Zuzua reminds me of Stitch. Oh god, Jesus, no. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it, was it the please that tipped you off? Yes, that that's what finally tipped me yeah. over the edge. Uh, like a more articulate Stitch. Nash and I, you see, um, there's like a... You see, like, a, an ink quill, uh, like, further down and behind the bar, and you're curious as to what that would mean. Uh, and then you uh, remember sort of glancing at the menu, and you remember a drink called the Devil's Bargain. Uh, and that is a drink that is local to Night's Reek. It's sort of like a specialty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's equal parts, like, rum, whiskey, creme de menthe, topped with seltzer water, and then, like... Um, a drop of ink as to seal the deal, so to speak. Creme de meth? Menth. 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 Yeah, like it's menth. menth. It's like, it's it's like mint menth. liqueur. Menth. It's minty fresh. Meth. Nope. Cream de meth. Please. Cream of meth soup. Oh. Cream of... <laughs> <laughs> Better yet, the cream of gush room. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. The fruit gushes. <laughs> Um, actually, Vizur, as you're, as you were ordering, um, this man, uh, the one that was on the ship was, uh, drinking a cocktail that seems to crackle as he was drinking it. Almost like a hiss. Forget Fireball, that guy got Lightning Bolt. <laughs> Thank you. That's an interesting drink you have there. Aye, it's not often I get to have it, being on the seas. What? Those taste yes. fair enough, I might say. I do remember you from the seas. Ah. Uh, do you, uh, you sail with me at some point? Swap, swap some decks, huh? Uh, no, we were just passengers on the Captain uh, National. What was the captain's name again? Uh, Gale. Audrey. Gale. 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 Yes, Gale. Ah, captain ah. Gale. Audrey, fine woman. Good yeah, captain, yeah. too. People like she her. Was. Indeed. Oh, this, this here is a, uh, it's called a crystal crunch. Does it crunch? That one's got meth in it. It does it's a just, little bit. It's, it's found in, uh, water. it's found in Malachar mostly. It's, uh, it's got plum vodka, uh, a little bit of, like, like a curacao with it. Uh, it's got a bit of seltzer and there's, uh, some void crystals in here mashed up to a bit until it starts to crackle. Does that not hurt your throat going down? 
I mean, it does dissolve in the uh, in the mixture a bit. Alcohol oh. helps with that. I'm not familiar with Void Crystal, I suppose. It's a hell of a thing. Here they uh, here they use it often uh, in the lands further west. Uh, something about some uh, flight vehicles they have out there or something. What? Tell me more. Uh, okay, Bazur, give me a give me a history check. All right. Our history is so good. So good. So good. So good. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, okay. Um, Malashar is uh, it's known as the Marvel of the Sands. Um, it is sort of the capital city of the Shattered Lands, um, and that is like way, way far west, southwest from where you guys are now. Um, and one of the draws there, that's aside from, say, like Oromar, which is the capital, or even Port Prince of Pei, um, Malishar, like dwarfs, um, everything else regarding trade. Um, it is, it functions as a port city, but also with the sort of, how do I say this? Um, let's see here. With sort of both the discovery and uh, like mining or acquisition of uh, void crystals, which are found sort of natural in the land, um, although they are difficult to difficult to evict from their once mountainous and stone homes um they have they have this sort of property that when they are sort of mixed with certain alchemical ingredients or um uh, applied in a certain way they sort of render gravity useless in a sense and they sort of have this burst of energy um and that energy once it gives off those bursts sort of there are certain Let's see. What am I trying to say here? Think of it as like a like a hot air balloon, and these things give force to what it takes to move like large objects. Uh, okay, see, I was in, thinking in some like sort a, of like sand a, skiff type thing. It's like a localized blast, uh, or a localized slow burn if you mix it with certain components that allow like basically like airships alcohol. to function with hot air. Very cool. Um. Uh, beyond that, the only thing you've heard about Malashar beyond that is that there are supposedly uh, 11 kings. A lot of kings. A lot of kings. About queens. No. Nope. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how many are married. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sexist. All Unless kings they're okay. are In queens. Yeah. King of queens. Yes, king. Populate. So, uh, Go on. excuse me, uh, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't suppose, uh, I guess I wouldn't know exactly how long you've been here, but have you seen either a large man, a fire genasi uh, around this area, or maybe a uh, slightly smaller uh, female fire genasi with him. That's a hell of a question to be asking, son. I admit we are looking for a couple of friends, and we think they might be around the area. We wanted to reach the female uh, before uh, anything happened to her. We sort of understood that she was wounded in a way, and I am of sorts a healer. Better not. Through your uh, yoga, you're not. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Eating mushrooms. Better not. I'm sorry. Uh, it's, um, 
Uh, let's go about it this way. I don't know if you're telling the truth, so I don't know if they want to be found. But uh, if I have seen something, go ahead and slide me a silver piece to pay for my next couple drinks. And I can loose the lips a bit. I think about it for a moment. Fair enough. I need no consideration to value my friend over a silver. Guys, what if he is Phoenix and he was on the boat to, like, watch Embra? <laughs> oh no, he's still high. Oh no. Okay, when you slide the piece over, he, uh, he looks at it. And it does the, the tooth test, making sure it's not fake or anything. This guy. That it will. From what I know, either asking around town or trying to see from my own eyes, there was a man, big as shit. He passed for a, for a fireborn, if you know what I'm saying. Yes. Word is he paid up here for a week. Not often do people have that type of coin. What? He's on the floor above us. Second door from the top of the stairs. I'm gonna start walking up the stairs. Oh, hold on, my guy. Let me come with you. About a woman, I'm not sure. I appreciate your help. Uh... Uh, Nemo. Nemo Thorn. I appreciate your help, uh, Nemo. And I hope that that drink uh, goes uh, goes down well. You going upstairs? I am. Good. I will be leaving and I'll have my silver's worth of drinks another time. Uh, Bingo was his name. Very well, I suppose. You will head off to the establishment across the street. Oh god, Phoenix is gonna beat the shit out of us, isn't he? Reinhold, we're about to get clapped. Second door on the left, did he say? Uh, oh, this second, is really good. Second door from the top there. Second door from the top. Would did you get be, the artichoke mushroom thing? Would that be this one? Uh, that would be that one. Okay. I'll uh, go up there and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit a quick knock. Zuru, are you choking on your mushrooms? Knock, 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 knock. Door's locked. You might be choking on mushrooms. This room's taken. Uh, excuse me. Um, are you Phoenix? I was going to come right out with the name, aren't you? We're friends of Embra. It's I don't know what you're talking about. It's, it's Reinhold and Nash and I. She knows us. Please, we saw in a, a, a vision of sorts that she was injured. We were coming to help if she still needs it. Names mean nothing to me. She um, was at she was at you and her were at the Morel estate not too long ago. You met Valros and Jasmine there. That's our friend Crane's estate. At least so we've been told. Um she would have described Reinhold as uh a, a beefy half half orc she wanted to um Full orc. jump. Jump. Full orc. You, yeah, see, you see the door sort of um, swing that open for a moment. Uh, just in, like an inch or two and you see this like glowing orange gold eye. Uh, he says uh, They ratted me out. I'm going to kill that fucking family. Which one? He sighs 
Well, I'd appreciate if you didn't kill any family. He's talking about Valros and Jasmine. Oh, no. Well, you can't do that. He's got at least two people to go through to do that. Oh, he's probably going to, but like... Go we'll back downstairs. When I hear your footsteps leave, I'll join you. Very well. All right. Stop. 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 Ka-chow. Right. Hello, we are back. Do you guys have the mushroom artichoke thing? It was really good. I'm going to get like a second one. Uh, well, no, I still wasn't hungry. Well, oh, sorry, I mean, Reinhold. I don't know why it's not putting you back down. You could try just like a bite. You don't have to be like super hungry to have like a whole thing, but you know, the flavor is amazing. Uh, you see a, a large hooded man off to the left start to descend down the stairs. They got uh, like some cremini shiitake. It's good. Moral. Uh, and he yes. will. He's got what seems to be a um, sort of a pre-rolled cigarette that he uh, puts up towards somewhere around his head. He sort of tilts it, uh, and by the time he turns around, turns around, it's lit, and he's sort of taking a, a puff off of it. He uh, reaches into his pocket and he puts out a uh, a long strand of hair uh, on the mantle here. Does the hair look familiar? It looks long and it looks uh, a shade of reddish orange that you have met another like that. This guy would beat the shit out of me and I would thank him. Yeah, but he's not Cal. I hope it. I hope that oh, means he's better she's... than Cal. He's not better than Cal. No way, no how. And, he... and I hope that means she's safe. To our people, it's a uh, few hundred years bad luck you harm one of your own. So yeah, she's safe. Is she still injured? I'm oh, sorry. I realized I didn't press the B button. I, I have pushed to talk on, so I keep forgetting to do that. Sorry, that's why I hit the B button and then didn't so any, don't say anything. Is she still wounded? She's resting. Yes. I don't know what exactly got into her system, but I'm sure as hell taking its sweet time. I am a, well, of a sense, a physician. I could examine her. It's taken care of. I wouldn't just leave her here without first consulting somebody. We'll be fine. Just resting. Very well. Um, what was it exactly that had attacked her? Uh, he looks at you sort of quizzically, um, trying to read you. I'm like a book, but all the pages are blank. I believe that's all the journal. Yeah. You'll trust me as Dear Diary. Giving you a name no. isn't exactly on my list of things to do today. True. Nope. True. Our main concern is to well, we've come to, well, aid her first and then see what she, if she needs help second. She started rambling about you lot when I found her. It didn't seem to be in her own mind. Good to see you showed up. Although I do admit I'm a bit pissed. That was so easy to find. It's hard not to follow the trail of a giant man that's on fire. What's, what's his height, Drew? 
Oh boy, he is he's six six or so, six seven. Reinhold, how tall are you? Uh, I have to check. Hold on. You're like six I three, six four. I have to double check. God, he's still daddy. Six three. Um, let's see. Is that like a fiery goatee, or is that like magma spit? <laughs> Uh, no, that is actually, um, oh, sorry, I was answering to the, <laughs> the goatee part. It is sort of this, um, luminous or like, <laughs> I don't know how to put it. I guess magma spit kind of works. I mean, it's not that hot, but yeah. Spitting flames. Straight bars. Fire. Um, he will say, um. I know that Ember gave you my name. I would like it to be kept down if possible. For my work within our family, sometimes anonymity helps me. Is there a name you'd have us address you instead? As odd as it is, I don't want to give you a fake moniker. Mr. V is fine for now. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, of course. Why I does am, everybody's name start with V? I am, uh, the Nashanai. It, it, as I'm sure that may have already been apparent. Sorry, I had a mouthful of food. Uh, I am Vizur. I'm Reinhold. I'll take another puff off the cigarette. I don't know what the hell my baby sister saw in all of you, but must be something as I look at you now. Clearly got a bit of coin about you. She ever swindled you? What is there to swindle? Well, look at each of you. Dazzling from head to toe in certain pleasantries. Points at, um. Really just you, Nash, and I, with your. I mean, he kind of points at the mask, but also the amulet that you sort of hide underneath your, uh. robe. Uh. Reinhold, kind of same thing. You've got nice armor, big sword, a belt. You know all your guys' items, basically. They're just kind of gesturing to you. We have a certain, I guess, wealth about us in the items we've found along the way, I'm sure. However, to my knowledge, I don't believe Ember has ever, how you say, swindled us. Yeah, her coin purse seems to be doing fine. Figured I'd ask. Got a couple new toys while she's been away, it seems, as well. Now, I have to ask this as a formality. Before anything, um, would get hostile. She told you anything about me or the family? What we do, what I do, what her other brothers do? Not a word. They're brothers. Yeah. She, she was very selective about that. Yes, I don't. Besides that name, we pretty much learned nothing about you. Smart girl. Good. I serve as a functionary for our family. I uh, tie up loose ends to keep our legitimate business interests intact. There, there was a certain emphasis on legitimate. I, I have questions about that. Good. Indeed. Glad you do. Now kindly keep them to yourself. 
Does that mean there's an illegitimate business? That was the implication, Crane, yes. Oh, okay. Thanks. If you're feeling troubled about it, ask a priest. I am a priest. Okay. You're a priest? I kind of am one, too. You thought you were a doctor! Two young men here you, you can confess. Are you actually a doctor? Not tonight. You've never been to medical school. Crane, this is not the time. I confess, uh, Mr. V, I, just based on the small amount that I've heard, both from you and of you, I uh, cannot say that I have a good first impression. However, I am still, of course, open to have that changed. I'm not designed to have a good first impression, son. Sounds to me like you're just a thug for your family, then. Could do worse. Shoveling shit. Digging out other people's garbage. Working in mud all day. Foiling a field. I feel quite fine doing the talking my way. I don't think we came here to discuss this anyway. We... We want to check up on Embra, and I understand you're protective, and we are not... I don't think any of us here are willing to throw down the gauntlet over something like this, so maybe you could just give us some kind of assurance that she's okay, other than just your word. I can, I. But she's not going to be leaving me without her either being better or me shoveling her off to you guys if she needs to catch up. As I said, she was a bit distraught, but she seemed keen to be back with y'all. Oi, you, Lizard. He points to you, Vizzer. Yes. He tosses you a room key. I'll attempt to catch it. <laughs> oh yeah, catch it, no problem. All right. You have uh, you have uh, a room key on a lanyard, sort of uh, wrapped around your hand, and this gentleman says, uh, "You want proof of life? You got two minutes. Head up the stairs, second door from the top." Open it, close it, come back down. All right, then. Better not see anything change in that room. Uh, while Vizura's up there, he just goes, he takes another kind of puff of the cigarette and just goes, fuck me. Something troubling you? I didn't see her at first, I was like, oh, wrong room. <laughs> I won't burden you with my troubles. I'm a priest. It's my job to burden, be burdened with other people's troubles. Guess I'll come to your temple at some time if I want to resolve it. Fair enough. Um... What happened to Embra? I know you can't give us names, but can you at least give us some kind of information? Maybe we can help solve this problem together. Doing what the family does every so often incurs a bit of a arousing of those that might have gotten on the wrong end of a deal or two. That being said, there's a couple of men from members past. That didn't take too kindly to her, uh, getting her away. 
Oh, all that being said. Ah, thank you. Happy. Oh, yes. Good. She's, she's alive, for sure. All that being said, it's not uncommon that she has to watch her back. Seems that she fell asleep at the wheel there. For a moment or two. What is there? What's that? What does that exactly mean? She had a syringe stuck in her back. About three, four days ago now. Been sleeping most of it since. The only way I kept her up by giving her a couple of tinctures of tonics that I came across in you know, in my travels. But I consulted someone I know. Family friend we trust. She'll be fine. Just doesn't have most of her uh, motorly functions as it stands. What kind of business are you involved in that requires people to go around stabbing your family with syringes in their backs? Kind that sees us prosper. Kinds that makes other families jealous. Ones that have power. Ones that want to squander the generations of work that we've done to have it. Have our coin. Have our benefits that we toiled over. Ones who would take it for themselves. Having no regard. For the life that we have. Sure, we've done some bad shit in the past. We've been pretty keen to pay up on most of those. Making sure people know that nothing was ever personal. That it was only to better ourselves. And the fact that no one else did, and we took a chance and had to break some hearts. Oh, fuck it. Life's too short. But either we missed a payment or didn't pay enough. Got a couple contacts that might know a bit more. I know Ember had one or two names on her list. Maybe that she was running from, afraid of. I know of one man. As I said, it's not your burden to carry. And I want to settle this for my family first before I go uh, outsourcing. Ember is our friend too, and I consider every one of us here, in a way, my family, including Embra. So, if you should need help dealing with this, as long as everything can be morally justified, I'm sure we'd be willing to help. But that's only if you come to us. I won't pursue the subject further than it needs to be done. Well, looking at you all, surely I assume you have your own business to attend to. Might I ask where you're heading so I can relate to my dear sister when she awakes? Uh, uh, I'll look at Nash and I and Bazur and Crane and kind of gauge their thoughts on that. I'll try and persuade you. Which, should I roll against that in some way? Uh, no. Just, he does okay at... I'd say with your passive insight, if you're not actively trying to uh, discern, seems oh, to be I would telling be the actively. truth. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me roll that then, I guess. Right. Sure. Yeah, he seems to be um, forthright. Um, you haven't seen him enough, but he carries his shoulders a little bit high as to as to signal that he's stressed. Um, sort of the I'd say the way he presents himself is still as proper as he can be uh, while carrying out <laughs> almost like a threat um, that being said if he is a court functionary type deal which it seems that he is and does represent the family in a certain capacity 
Um, his table manners could use some work, but he wouldn't have any problem presenting himself, and he seems to be pretty genuine right now about wanting to relay information to his sister and while he's just taking care of her, keeping her safe. Sorry, uh, Dunmoldir was outside of Falcon Crest, right? Uh, correct. Um, I will, I will give this much, seeing as it, I have not had enough time to really trust you, and I'm sure the same falls to us, but. If Embra would like to catch up with us, then she can meet us outside of Falcon Crest. I know what's outside of Falcon Crest. You plan on taking the leap of faith, going down below. I won't divulge anything further than Falcon Crest. If you are going there. And you want another day of bought time using my family's name that I will put on a piece of correspondence signed by myself. I would urge you to give a little bit more. Can I make another insight? <laughs> a little bit of. Uh, you pro don't pro. have to. Okay. It's pretty straight up. Yep. Okay. Straight up, now tell me, do you really want to pay for our passage uh, into Falcon's Ring? <laughs> how much, how much would it be for us? How much information do I have to divulge in order for us to gain that favor? I just need to know if you're going. I'll take care of the rest. We are going to Dunmoldir then. Oi, masked man, grab me a, uh, a plate or a platter. He starts getting out a little set from his, like, breast pocket in this uh, jacket he's got on. He's got on very nice clothes, almost like uh, like a three-piece suit uh, type deal. Little worse for wear. Probably hasn't been laundered in what seems to be a few days, um, but is still pretty proper. Uh, he takes that sort of tray from you, um, and he sets it on his lap, and he gets out, like, this tiny little stationary set, about the size of, like, a almost like a cigarette case. Um, and he kind of unfolds it takes out a small pen, um, small folded up piece of parchment, and starts, <laughs> that got me, starts penning uh, a short letter, um, and he's got, uh, he's got, oh, what's it called, a signet ring, right, um, okay. that he puts some, um, like melted wax on and all that. So, <laughs> Yeah, so he has the ring on his um, uh, middle finger, and he holds the middle finger up uh, sort of towards the platter, uh, and he's got a small piece of wax in this sort of stationary kit, uh, and he sort of just pulls it near his mouth, breathes on the wax, and then moves the wax towards the signet ring, and then stamps like a seal um, down, on the, uh, down on the parchment. Uh, and signet said, rings usually go on the pinky, but okay. Well, not this man. This man is literally built different. Yeah, uh, Jesus. <laughs> but he I gotta hands, get away from him. I don't have fire resistance. He hands parchment, uh, the parchment to you, uh, Reinhold. Yeah. Or an Ashnai, whoever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> he's either handing one of you the, the, the parchment and one of you the platter, so. Uh, uh, I'll but take he'll the hand parchment. <laughs> I'll take the platter uh, back, I guess. And, and he'll say, uh, I don't have an envelope, so you'll probably have to take care of that yourself. But this will stop any um, prying eyes or questions being asked. Got a bit of a decent reputation in Dumbledore. I appreciate the help. Indeed. I care for my baby sister. So do our other brothers. Don't mean to be aggressive. Be in thought. How many siblings do you have? If I might ask. Three. Ember's the youngest. Two other brothers. 
Are you the oldest one? Uh, by a year. I think, uh... Let's see. Doom's about a year younger. I dread to imagine four... Four of you running around. And then I'm scared. Well, it comes with the benefits of good parents and good risings. Well, Mr. V. Phoenix, Phoenix rising. When, um... When should we expect Ember to be... Healthy again? I can't say for certain. Got a couple other tonics that might help, but honestly, I can't rush it with what I've already given her. Sort of an anti sedative that tricks the body into waking up longer, but we do it too fast with the toxins that she's got in her. There's a chance that it might just not take. Render it inert. Do you know what she was poisoned with? I don't have a name for the compound. But I've seen it used before, yes. Uh, there's only a couple alchemical types that know how to make this shit. So. My next step is tracking them down. See who deals with them. Hey, Drew. Yes. Would this be considered poison? Um. Not in the sense that a class feature can remove, it's more of a spell effect boiled down what about, into a potion. What about a spell that can do it? <laughs> um, depends on the spell. Lesser restoration? Uh, that would not do it. Okay, just wanted to double check. Yeah, it's more of a, um... Oh, not... What the hell is it called? It's almost like a petrify, but without the turning to stone. <laughs> gotcha, okay. Yeah. It's like a paralysis, but Yeah, it's that. like a paralysis plus... Gotcha, okay. Magic Paralysis. The Paralysis <laughs> DLC. The legendary edition of Paralysis. The Greater Restoration. Definitive edition. Too bad I don't have that. I don't have that yet. Correct. If you have... If you have pressing business Sorry. there, I would urge you to... Um, Go about your days. I can make the travel for Ember a bit quicker. It'll be on my way anyways. Excellent. I'm, I'm sorry, did he... What, what did he say? Uh, basically said, if you gotta go about your ways and go about your travel, he urges you to do so. Because uh, he can speed up the travel with Embra once she recovers, because he's heading that way anyways, and he doesn't seem to be intent on wasting any time. Uh, okay, so base, basically he's saying we can head out if we need to. Yeah, he'll also say, that piece of parchment I dated today. Now, these things usually don't get dated uh, that far out in advance, so I'd say you've got a good week or so at the latest before things start to get suspicious if you don't have a... Uh, a band arriving. And if anyone finds that document and you show up a month late, questions might be asked. Understood. Don't waste time. I didn't expect Ember to go about life in this way. That is to say, uh, trusting other strangers, traveling with them. As she has, and as I look at all of you, I would venture to say I don't see ill intent. I hope it remains that way. There are, um... There are others beyond my capabilities that would not have a problem restoring both our families and Ember's honor should anything go awry. 
That is to say, keep her safe, will ya? With our lives, if necessary. You have nothing to fear from us when it comes to Embra. We'll do everything we can to keep her safe, as I would with any of the people with me. Honestly, honestly, sometimes it's her that keeps us safe. Yeah, doesn't exactly surprise me. Always try to uh, overachieve where she could. Um, Mr. V, um, if I may. Phoenix is fine. Phoenix, if I may. Oh, yeah. Um, Embra had left me a letter not too long ago forewarning me of some possible, uh, um, uh, some assassins that may be after me and possibly my friends. Phoenix by chuckles, extension. um, and he says, uh, I was gonna get to this. I was actually gonna leave you with this. But go on, I want to hear what you have to say. Maybe you'll end up saying it better than me. Well, I just wanted to ask if you had anything more than that. He, uh... He goes to light another cigarette as he's finished the one that he has. As a damn chain smoker, Jesus. Um... <laughs> he just sort of chuckles and... He seems to be like kind of rubbing his fingers together almost like he's like cleaning his nails in between rags and he's clearly in thought and he's taking a bit of time to find the words um, and he looks at all of you and he says if you've done something either dumb enough or haven't been careful enough in your actions your activities to have someone or some ones put a bounty out on you that would feed a man for two, three generations, buy him a mansion, live a life of glamour. If you've done any of that without covering your tracks, huh, don't be upset when you piss up a fucking tree that you get splashed when it comes down. Why would I do that? Reinhold, by the gods, what did you do? Brilliant fucking question, kid. It's really not as bad as you think. Did, did you hear that whole analogy? It sounded terrible. Why would I, you piss up a tree? I, there was no pissing involved. Oh, I thought he was saying he pissed off a tree. No, I did the right thing. That's all that matters. Some people have umbrage with that, unfortunately. Some people don't know what the right thing is. Enjoy your day. You too. Bye, Phoenix. Hear a door open upstairs, and the uh, the opening of the door was much quicker than the um, closing, <laughs> as in uh, thought about slamming the door and then. Kind of eased off. Well, that jambalaya was delicious. Did you have uh, the mushroom stuff as well? Because I had some mushroom, but I didn't have the jambalaya. Did you, did you want to try the mushroom artichoke stuff? I mean, if you're not going to finish yours, I mean... <laughs> I already finished. This is my second one. Holy shit. When did you... I didn't even see you get up. How do you Ooh. death roll jambalaya? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> it's in, it's small enough. I don't have to do that. Oh, okay. That oh, it's, like, was... it's like drinking water. You don't have to death roll water every time you drink it. You right, just right, drink right. it. Okay, I see, I see. Which is odd, I feel... because, you know, you can drown. I feel a lot better knowing that Embra's safe. Yeah, but something about Phoenix rubs me the wrong way. And for me as well, however, I doubt even if we were able to uh, force our way past him that Ember would be too pleased with us. I don't feel good about the part where like, Ember was with us 
and she got stabbed in the back with a syringe. I don't feel too good about that. Because that means that somebody could have also stabbed us in the back with a syringe. People are actively trying to stab us in the back, Rain. Well, people are actively right trying now? to stab you in the back. Right now? I mean, not this very minute, but... Like, there are people hot on our tail. My Is there, tail. Give me an intelligence check, please. Ryan, hold on. Are you, sure, are you sure that there's not any other part of that story that might have netted you in, well, hotter water? Um... Like, until... Um, uh, uh, yep. Just roll it. A belly check? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as far as I know, I... As I said, I nice. did the right oh, thing. Oh, no! Thank you. Oh, no. Zer's just thinking about the jambalaya. <laughs> womp womp. Which was spicier, the jambalaya or the fire jambalaya? I was gonna make Zer, that you joke. can finish my uh, mushroom artichoke dish. You don't have to tell me twice. Oh. <laughs> Crane, how are you... How are you disturbed by how I eat? We 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 travel with Vazur. You don't have a mouth. He has too much mouth. Uh, I mean, I'm a little bit more disturbed by you, Nashnai, eating than than Vizor. It's no offense to you. It's just like, it just it's it's there and then it's gone. With Vizor, I can at least see him doing his in, his heinous acts of consumption. I mean, you see if, Vizor chew. Like you don't even be... chew. You just like swallow it's weird if it would make you feel a lot better you could just consider the mask itself like my mouth because but then your mouth is your whole face and that's freaky so like wait so Nashan, i need you to eat something for me because i need to watch to see if you have a jaw that chews do you chew i will say i need to sit down with you and talk about the mask because <laughs> even i lose track sometimes <laughs> it, the funny thing is, I, I'm sure when E, when you were building this character, you were like, "Yeah, you know, this is gonna be cool and fun." It's and got like, a mess. Like, Everyone's gonna know. love it. Woo! Yeah. And then we were like, "No, let's overthink every possible aspect of this." Overthink the mask. The mask is gonna terrify everyone. <laughs> let's put it this way: you've checked the mask more times than you guys have like checked for traps. Agreed. Yeah. Well, yeah, we have a wand That's for a... that. That's yeah, true. we do have a wand for that. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have a mask for... Or, sorry, we don't have a wand for mask-seeing. Oh, answer. wait. We have never used the wand on the mask. It's not a trap. Crane. 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 Yeah. Crane, I'm getting very uncomfortable. Take, take, take a step back for a second. Like, in the other direction from me. Think, think. think about think about what you're gonna do. You then, use the wand on that mask. No, think And then think about it again. Gonna use the wand on that mask. Okay, tell me, do you uh -huh. think that do you think that that is gonna be a good idea or garner any results whatsoever? Well, if it's not a trap, then I don't think it'll hurt him. Do you think it's a trap, Green? We haven't considered it as a possibility. He, he we've been traveling with him for months. Yeah. And, and it's never gone off. Well, we've never touched it. Because that's kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, like Crane, you, do you go around touching my face all the time? Don't answer that, please. <laughs> I really hope the answer is no. I think you'd know if I was touching your face. I don't know what you do when I sleep. True. Uh, it's not touch your face. I'm just saying, I don't think you need to use the wand on Nashanai's face. I'm fairly certain his face is not a trap. It okay. is a secret door, though. What? Well, you know what they say. Masks are the doors to the the spirit of justice. Okay, so what you're saying they is... Don't, I, they don't say that, but I'm going to start saying that. What you're saying is use the wand when nobody's looking. Got it. Crane, I feel like we have to have a conversation about personal boundaries. I literally, You said take a step back, and I literally took a step back. It, it was a metaphor, Crane. I also you know, was I don't okay think it with you metaphor. taking an actual step back. I mean, yeah, okay, I guess Nash and I was okay with you actually taking a step back. But, as I said, it was a metaphor. I didn't need you to actually take a step backwards. 
Well, now, see, metaphors are difficult. Okay, well, in this case, it, all it means is to just, like, take a deep breath and think about what you're going to do next. Get more water with lemon? That's perfectly fine. Okay. So tomorrow, then, are we heading out? Oh, okay. I'll go back to my city. <laughs> so then, tomorrow, are we heading out, Reinhold? Uh, I, I believe that that is the current plan. Um, I don't see a reason why we should dally any longer than we have to, especially considering that Phoenix says she'll be okay. True. Although, the more he spoke, the more I kind of just got the vibe that he was a, a hired killer of sorts. He definitely gave me the impression that he was a hired killer. Like, that's a, that's a pretty big red flag, wouldn't it be? It, it definitely is not uh, a green flag. No. Um... However, I think uh, I think dealing with a possible crime family is a little bit lower on the list of our tasks right now. As bad as that sounds. It does sound pretty bad. But I understand. Do you think she told him at any point about Blue? Well... I mean, it did sound like she was possibly delirious at some point, so maybe in the stupor she gave some information away. Who knows if it was anything valuable, but maybe. Hopefully that syringe wasn't filled with creme meth. Yeah, more meth would suck right now. Creamed Creamed meth. Creamed meth. Cream of tobacco soup. Oh, and to answer your question, Nash and I, no, I, I didn't do anything that would, I didn't do anything that you or I would find wrong. Fair enough. The forces of, um, well, evil, I guess I would describe them, often view good as abhorrent in the same way that we view them. So I guess the more valiant and righteous you are, the more detestable they would find you. I will say that there is a way you can do the right thing and still betray people, though. True, but ultimately I think it speaks to your character that a, well, a gang wishes such harm on you. It's because you decided to do the right thing and stand for justice. Well, there's only one way to find out what will happen with this. It's just to let them come or find them ourselves. But, as I said before, that's low on the list. Either way, when they do come or we find them, you know that you'll have the Nash and I at your back. That's certainly a lot more I had than the first time. And you probably, like, held them off by yourself, so, like, double, double us would probably be very effective. Not by myself, no, but... That is not important. What we need to do now is make our way to Dunmoldir and make use of this uh, this writ and hopefully leverage a little bit of my status if we need to. And then hopefully Ember meets us there. To Dunmoldir it is then. I kind of want some of that jambalaya now. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, no, it's starting to sound pretty good. Let's go get some. Oh. One jambalaya, please. Make that two. All the jambalaya you could ever want to serve you. I, I'm hesitant to believe that. All right. Well, the, however, the, I will. I will take your word for it. The stores of jambalaya that they have are more than. Enough. Then make it three. <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> they don't have enough. They look at you, they're like, we don't have enough for you, no. 
It's like that one video of like the the guy who owns the Chinese buffet complaining about the fat guy that showed up. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. There was also like a, a sitcom that did that as well. Maybe that's what it's from. I'm not Maybe. sure. Was I, I remember there was a scene and it was two competing Chinese restaurants that were lowering their price and then that guy just kept going to the cheap one each time. Vizera will put five gold pieces on the counter. Oh no. Just as payment for everything because we haven't Oh, okay. Give him uh, anything. I thought you wanted five golds worth of jambalaya. Oh. The the gentleman will um uh respond uh, and Barbin will come over. Uh, sir, uh, only about two gold to show me. Maybe a little uh, bit more with tip. I'm sure we'll be back in the future. Consider this uh, an investment. The jambalaya was delicious. Um, say that. Scary fellow you were talking to. Uh, everything all right? Uh, yeah, please. Uh, I would, I would just leave that subject alone. He's, we're fine. Everything's fine. How are you? <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm fine. I, I was, um, <laughs> I was smart enough to comp him a meal or two here and there. I, you know, figured uh, <laughs> get him in the good, the old good graces, as they say. Sounds like. Extortion. I would. My only suggestion would be to just steer clear of him as much as possible. Ask very little, and no less. And no more. When he, uh, when when he bought stuff, he paid well and uh, well. So, guess we're doing <laughs> something right here. You certainly are. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Uh, hope you enjoy. You too. <laughs> I say with the <laughs> utmost confidence. Yeah, I hate that. Enjoy the movie. You too. Oh no. I I've just started doing it like with like a sheer, like straight face, just completely confident in saying it. Yeah, like, that is not me. <laughs> like I, I'll get I'll get food at like McDonald's or something, and they'll be like, "Enjoy your food," and I'm like, "You too." <laughs> I mean, they get like free lunches like once per week. But I don't, right. I don't look him in the eye, so I, I don't have that going for me yet. I am ready to fast track this travel and get us on the road. Let's do it, brother. I'm Let's ready. do it. I'm last ready. challenge, Ryan holds the duel to the death. <laughs> well, I accept. I die. As soon as you leave the city walls. Uh, last chance. If you guys want to stock up on anything, let me know. I can make this a quick transaction. Is, is there yeah. another temple of... Tosh that I can take a tithe no. out of. No, oh my gosh. It's the, the main Greedy. One. I'm broke. There, there, oh, there corrupt are, like, church officials happen. <laughs> there are other temples, but the collection box is at the one temple that you went to. And I'm, they look at you and I'm they're like, this serious. motherfucker. I'm not serious about uh, doing it again. But I, I know um, that. that counter card, you know. I, yeah, I was just channeling a little bit of the Gregory in me, you know. Sure, sure. Uh, are we money, 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 money. Oh, boy. What was that, Green? Uh, are we gonna need any money? Cause Crane can go get some. Um, I I think we should still stock up on rations, cause we don't know what we're gonna find after we get down into Dunmuldeer, or underneath Dunmuldeer. Um, yeah, and probably, uh, I don't know. I don't. I mean, we could stop at that magic shop again. Maybe there's some kind of like gear that we could use. I mean, if you just want to give us the, the short list, Drew, of like, yeah, so hey, I'll, he's got I'll this. say what he has left. So he's yeah. got, obviously, he's got your old flail. He hasn't sold that yet. Um, so he's got that. Um, he's got just a regular old short bow. He's got the other type of great sword, the, the vicious great sword, I believe it was. Um, I'm just going to do actually magic items. So he's got boots of elven kind, um, which is what? Uh, advantage on stealth checks uh, when moving. Uh, a circlet of blasting that has a scorching ray spell um, in it that you can use once per day. Um, he's got uh, the only... Well, I'll go for it. He's got a bag of beans, which is just like a D100 table, and you'll have uh, X amount of opportunity to have a bunch of random effects happen. Um, some of them are 
good, some of them are bad. Uh, yeah. Like, do you just do you plant the beans? Do you throw the beans? Do you mm -hmm. eat the beans? Yeah, so you remove a bean, you can plant it, um, water it, and then a minute later an effect happens. Hmm. So I okay. can have a choosy effect, do it randomly, or create something. Um, so they are not battle beans. <laughs> no, not battle beans. Okay. Um, do we only... think 130 arrows is enough? I should hope so. Me too. Um, there is potion of cold resistance, potion of greater healing, potion of poison resistance. Uh, there is a superior healing. You guys actually bought all of his regular potions. Uh, and then the only new item that is on this list is um, called a ring of honor. Oh, what's that do? What does that do? What does that do? What's that do? Let's see. And I trade so, Reinhold for it. What's the Ring of Honor do, though? <laughs> There's, it's a golden ring that's sort of shaped like a crown. And it's oh, God, a... No, um, <laughs> it's shaped like a uh, crown, and it's got, like, charges on it. So every time you slay a small creature or larger, so it can't be, like, a tiny creature, right? Like ants. Um, and anytime you slay a small or larger creature while you wear it... Um, you gain a charge, up to five charges. The ring loses all charges if you're reduced to either zero hit points or, or you remove it. Um, and once it has its fifth charge, you can use a bonus action to um, gain certain benefits. Um, like? For one minute, it is a plus one bonus to AC, plus one bonus to attack and damage, five temporary hit points at the start of each of your turns, and immune to the fight. Holy oh, moly. Wow. She's macaroni. How much do they want for that? It is currently much? listed at 3,300 gold pieces. Oh, never Wait, mind. Why? Sorry, sword. <laughs> well, it ain't going to be free. No I don't bombs. think that sword was even that much. Let's rob the shoplifter. What? Like, Wait. My we're brain. robbing the shoplifter? <laughs> oh, so pay yeah. someone to shoplift and then rob them. Gold, tell them go in there, rob the place, and then you rob them on the way out. It's economic. No, no. Oh my god, even smarter. It's not Crane pays move. somebody. Crane pays somebody to go in there. I don't know why it's Crane. I'm just picking Crane. Okay. Uh, crane is pays somebody to go in there for like twenty gold, rob the place, get whatever they can. Then on the way out, we stop them like heroes. We return everything. And then he's going to be so grateful, he's going to give us something in return. And he says, pick whatever you want, and we pick the stuff we want. But what if he more, doesn't say, pick whatever you want? Uh, then he's a cheapskate, and we murder him. Or we render oh. him unconscious. What was that? And then just oh. have all of it. What if mm. we just cut out the middleman, and we just rob the story? What if the, the middleman was the shopkeeper? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the guy we paid to rob the store <laughs> in the first we place. We cut out the middleman, we become the shopkeeper. Uh, oh, I like Wait, that. so we are the middleman. Wait, so no, you have to kill we're... yourselves to get the ring? You're going to cut yourselves out? That's really honorable. We're becoming the shopkeeper with our bed and breakfast. That's like our whole shop. Are we going Are we going to have a magic item shop at our bed and breakfast? We could have a gift shop. I'll tell you what. <laughs> gift shop. You've In done, air d, d You've done previous business with the man before. Uh, good business, expensive business. Whoever wants to try and persuade a lower price, you don't have to say anything. Just roll persuasion with advantage, and we'll go from there. Oh, let's go. What is it? Control for advantage uh, or alt? Advan or uh, alt, alt, a, a for alt, a for advantage. Is it? Do I don't think the, the price try? is gonna make it like this game sucks. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, real, real well, loser right there. See, oh wait, no, I meant, I meant, I meant. Wait, you guys... Whoop, two, wait, you, that's you two meant? twos! That's two twos! <laughs> I rolled double twos! Oh. Uh, oh, you terrible. know what? He, he would drop the 10% markup and put it at three grand. Wow. What an ally. That's like 300... <laughs> <What> an ally? <laughs> that's like 300 farmers saving their life's work to... Game. 301. Oh, shit. It's true, it's true. Right. All right. Are we ready to fast track yes. some travel? Yes. Let's do. Okay. Dunmaldir, it is. All right. 
Uh, robbing oh. the shopkeeper? I'm going to get us some world no. map action. World map? Alright, y'all are here. Indicated I by see us. Party token. Are we gonna How do you do the arrow thing again? Uh, X. Hold X. There you go. Yeah. Okay, we'll oh yeah, you're on a trackpad, so it'll take you a minute. Why are we shaming the party token? I'm part of the party token. Shame. Alright, it'll take two days. Oh, Jesus. I don't want to grab that. It'll take two days to get to Falcon Crest. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to do some stuff. Uh, on the second day um, into your travels, you come across um, like a small fork in the road, but one that isn't really marked uh, all too well uh, on a path. Uh, and you hear a couple like low, like roars, like or like growls, Rrr. Rrr. and then you hear a roar, uh, and then you hear a humanoid uh, scream uh, and then like a fluttering of wings that sort of echoes uh, into sort of the plains where you are before you get to this place. It, tree. it sounds like someone just got taken off by a dinosaur. Uh, it was just attacked Mothman. And you hear that humanoid scream and then you hear Help! Anyone! Yeah, let's we're, we're, I'd be running. Double time. Running away or two? <laughs> Crab Book walking it. towards. Okay. Everyone All starts right. running towards it. Crane's like, eh. <laughs> uh, like Crane, do we if... have to? <laughs> Crane, if you would, do you mind giving me a perception check? Oh, no. Oh, I think I just rolled for the party. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You did here. I will. I will resolve this. Hit C, uh, Abigail, and you should have a character sheet pop up. I hope. No, uh, still party token. Yeah, that's because it's not on the map. There you go. There's Green. Oh, there, there's there's my boy. Look at how they massacred my boy. Kaiju Green. Don't you dare massacre my boy. Oh, that's, that's even better. All right. Let's get this party. Roll out of here. Okay. Thank you, Crane. Um, you massacred my boy. <laughs> I did. Uh, so as you hear that scream and you guys head towards there, you get close to where you think you, you heard it, and you see a man um, clearly in some form of, like, guard garb, because I don't want to trip up on those words, uh, guard garb, um, have like, breathing heavily, uh, has a long sword out that is dripping with uh, a little bit of like uh, reddish brown blood uh, and he has also injured himself and he's looking off in the distance sort of away from where you guys are coming from uh, I need to know if you guys approach at the same speed or Crane if you point this out and want to approach a bit quieter Wait, he's looking towards where we're running from? Uh, no, away from where you're running from. So if you guys are running oh. up from the south, he's looking north. He's looking north. Um. Yeah, I guess I would point out the guy who's got a sword and he's kind of bleeding. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the rest of you will see this. Uh, how do you approach? So this man seems to be bleeding from a wound. It seems that way. Yes, doctor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Are you dying? Uh, you guys don't see... You don't see more as of right now, but what you do hear is sort of the tearing of flesh and like... Like bird noises. Like birds eating. Alright, um... He's human, I'm, right? 
Uh, yes, the person you find is human. If you want to quickly tend to him, I can run a little bit farther ahead with my higher speed and try to get to someone else, maybe. Sounds good. All right. Oh, like an... go after Nashne. Okay, so are you oh, my hips. Oh, are you God. sprinting up? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Make uh here. I'm gonna. Hmm. Here, I'll just change what I need. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna drop you guys on this map, and I'll have you load in. Um, drop me. Go ahead, and anyone who's approaching, because you're all gonna be as a group. Go ahead and roll stealth with disadvantage because you are approaching. I know there's not double disadvantage, but I, I know, have disadvantage. Yeah. It's a yeah. uh, shift click? Um, control click for disadvantage. Control click. I'm good. Azor and I are good. Oh, wow. The two who are going ahead? Oh. Ah. Okay. Um, so I will say that's actually not not bad at all. So Nashnai and Vizur, you guys will get there first. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll for scales, see how he does, uh, and we'll go from there. Okay. So you guys are a little bit further south, probably a bit more than that. But that's all space. Um, and he uh. He, like, reels his sword uh, around when he hears you guys approach. Um, he's been pretty silent, so any noise that is not what he seems to be currently focusing on is pretty apparent. Um, and he'll say, I, I, I don't know who you are, but you're not um, beasts. Well, at least I think, <laughs> looking at you as her. Friends. Okay, bye. I was gathering some... I was gathering some things I had stowed in a cave over here. And he points that direction. I was on my way out, and I was heading away when there was a... like a troll or some fucking big thing. I was running away from it, then it got taken down by some weird flying creatures that... Seem to lay an ambush on it. I hear more off in the woods, but I don't know where. I, I think it might be two or three more. Is there any other people we should be looking for? Or is it just you? No, no, just me. This is my, this is my, uh, my leave weekend. Sometimes I stow some personal effects um, out here that I can't trust to keep in a barracks with me. Sometimes there's. Uh, Kobolds that I have to evade, but I've never seen creatures like this. Um, it's at this time where uh, Reinhold, Crane, and Scales catch up and are a bit noisier. And <laughs> your newfound friend here is like, oh, shh, watch, please. Ah, branches. And I'm going to roll. See if these creatures are. Let's see. Take the average here. Okay. Um, as everyone is sort of making their way up here, uh, Nashtai and Vizur, you hear the sounds of those like ripping and tearing flesh noises that go silent. and you hear a rustling up and to the right. I'll probably head up to it. Okay. So, it's time to not see anything. Uh, it happened a bit further up. All right, go ahead and stop there. Yep, will do. This is the corpse that you see. Oh, and it does oh boy. indeed seem to be a troll. Um, oh god. Nashnai, give me give me a perception check. Okay. 
duty right. 20. Let's see if. Uh... Don't get grappled, don't get grappled, okay. don't get grappled. <laughs> um. All right. You see, uh, out of the corner of your eye, up and to the right, um, a movement of sort of feathers and cloth in the tree line. And you see a bird creature come out of it and try and go for you right here. Uh, I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative. I was going to say this, but I don't know if this counts as before initiative or not. Crane was going to knock an arrow and just kind of have a point of at the sky in case he saw something flying. The initiative roll right out. That's that advantage, baby. Why do you have 16? Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> I literally just clicked my initiative on my character sheet and it gave me a plus 3 plus 16. Oh, Crane also I... got a 16. Unfortunately. I'll... Let's see if I get it. I was gonna say, since you all have it, it's fine. Yeah! And I don't have to change anything. Let's go! So, let's see. This is where we get. Why'd I get a plus 20? That you is probably, unknown to me. Do you have another thing that adds to your initiative besides tax? Nope. Huh. Here, fuck it. I'm not married to it. Um, go ahead and roll initiative from your character sheet. I just want to see if that affects anything. Uh, that's where I rolled it from. Me too. <laughs> well, try it again, because I did a new way of setting up the encounter. I don't know okay. if it'll stay. But... Oh, yeah. Cool. All right. My other initiative. It was better. Yeah, I like my 44. <laughs> I just put like my 33 into it. Oh my one well, more Shinderu. Great initiative. Oh. So I was just like Vizor, man, you get some crazy bonuses from level seven. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, as we start here, it sort of works out. Um, would I take the first initiative I rolled or the what the second one? Uh, the second one. Sorry, pal. Oh. You've taken away my 33. Well, it, technically it's not a 33, but... It totally was a 33. I, I'm not in the initiative order. Reinhold doesn't get to go. Uh, here. Try now. Fuck you. There I am. But, whoa. Did everyone really roll, roll that high? Nope. nope. No. <laughs> Yes, this seems yes, to be an anomaly. Nope, it's what not. The hell? We all have random bonuses. I got I got a 44 the first time I rolled. Do you, do you want me to roll again or? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, can Reinhold get a bigger number? Oh. <laughs> yeah, is worse. It See, yours is, is fine. We <laughs> broke weird. it. Is it that it's supposed to be adding that as a decimal? And instead, just didn't because his gets to add a point zero eight. No, so the point zero eight is your deck score, or, or his deck score rather. It's not adding any of your deck scores, and I don't know why. But nonetheless, I will continue this combat. All right. So, uh, Nash and I, first of all, first off, just give me a uh, a nature check, please. Uh, okay. A uh, nature. Eleven. Okay. Thank you for that uh, incredibly uh, incredible run. Thanks, man. Got it. Um, this creature is going to make a couple uh, claw attacks against you. I understand. So, we go here. That's again. Oh, I yikes. This match one. Showing up for you? Oh, there we go. Here. A 22 slash 25 does hit me. Okay. Um, so this will be uh, 11 points of damage. Okay. And second attack. Ooh. Oh. Sorry yeah, that's man. me. 
That's all right. That'll be uh, 17 points of damage. All right. Injured. All right. Uh, there's a second one that comes out of the trees. Oh, no. This is getting out of hand. Thirty. Uh, and let's see here. Target. Um, we're gonna try this. Uh, I need everyone here, which will be Vizur, Nashnai, and Scales, to make a con save, please, for the chat hall. No. Okay. And then I'll get scales real quick. Okay. Uh, Bazaar and scales is going to take half of this damage. Uh, so that's going to be... not show up in the chat? It did not. I'll try and eye it this time. That's way higher numbers. Yeah, I love I'm gonna it. I'm gonna take ten off that. So uh, Nash and I take twenty one. Vizur and Scales take ten. I'll do Scales real All quick. Right. Uh, okay, uh, Nash and I, you are up. All right. Uh, well, that fucking hurt. Uh, I will move over here just to try and get out of line of sight of that other guy. Uh, and then I will. Uh, really lean into this guy. I will use my actions to attack him uh, with my fists. Righty. First one. Fortunately. Fair enough. Ooh, that'll definitely hit. For eight. And then I'm going to flurry. Alrighty. So the first one will be a miss and then the the second extra attack I'm gonna just turn into a hand of healing on myself okay so uh, I don't know why it doesn't roll it I'll just do a d6 alright so I heal back four All right. does it plus your uh, whiz mod I assume yep okay Alrighty. Uh, there. All right. There we go. Plus one. And that's it for me. Okay. Next creature. Oh, gosh. Oh boy. You know what? This one is going to try and do the same thing, I think. Oh. Infect plague again. Oh no. Anyone in the square? That'll be the same for uh, as me. Okay. I make it this time. Much better. Uh, I'll roll for Azur, or, uh, for scales, rather. Yeah. I'm sorry, did you say another con save? Yep, same, same thing. Same. Last okay. one in the chat. Okay, not so good. Right, let's see if this works this time. Four, a seven, a three, and a seven. Ah, why is that not working? Four, That's seven, three, 21, seven. so yep. Azura take, take 21, 10. Scales will take 21, you take 10. Uh, good news, Azura, you're up next. Fucking hurting, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm pretty much chunked. Oh yeah, kill him. 
Get a couple of swings with the rainbows of Pearl Water. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Yeah. You that's still a bomb. And that's a bomb ass number. It's God, I'm going to sit back and fire some arrows after this one. <laughs> uh, the creature sort of roars and screams and sort of like. Ah! Ah! Uh, this is a. Uh, what is our buddy Scales gonna do? Um, Scales? I will tell Scales to go back, because this is too much. He's scared. I don't want to hurt him. Alrighty. And turn. Okay. Bazaar, uh, let's see here. Go ahead and make that con save again, because you ended your turn inside this sphere. Oh, oof. This. Uh, 22 points of damage to you. All right, scales is done. Uh, this soldier here uh, will step out. Oh, you know what? He was caught in that uh, last one. Oh, no. I need to make a save. Oh, yikes. Um, and also, <laughs> I don't know, Zor, why it thinks you're concentrating, <laughs> but I, I have no... Nope. Uh, okay. He will take All right, so he will step out of here uh, and he will fire at, okay, he's not gonna get that much of a he'll fire at. Alright, Crane, you are up. Okay. My turn. Let's see. How far? Hmm. Well, I'm making a circle. Okay. I just wanted to see how far it was to the guy. That's like uh, ah, 69 feet. Nice. Oh, nope. I don't want that circle. I just wanted to measure it. Thank you. So I'm just gonna stop making circles. Why? Do you it have making the circles? measurement tab selected on the left? Yes, I do. Yeah, that might be why. I thought that's what you did. Oh, other, other thing. Anyway, yeah. all right, train, move it. Move it. Okay. And then here we go. I'm going to I'm going to shoot it or not. Getting closer. I'm about to I'm about step forward again no. and then try one more time. Alright. That'll do. Okay. Okay. Nine points of damage. Would you like to add spectral squirrel? For a d6? Yes, I would like to do that. Hold on. Uh, make a con save. Guy. Right. Ooh. Nice. Good damage. There uh, we go. Minus a six. And another. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm of... Is there anything Continue you want to do with to your bonus action? Go this way. Um. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I only see scales right now. Uh, oh, for friend-wise? Yeah, well, and Reinhold, but oh. yeah. Um, I would like to put out a 
I heard I heard like some unpleasant noises, right? Like some ow and eh. Uh yes, absolutely. Okay. Can I put out of, the... around this tree. Mm. Yeah, why not? Can I put out the healing spirit? Sure, where would you like it? Uh hmm. <laughs> it seemed to think I was concentrating on Hunter's Mark. Um, can I place it somewhere? Ooh, I think it thinks I can. I'm gonna put it kind of like up near the edge of the okay. tree. There. Right. So, for, let's see. For four times, somebody can heal five points at the end of this. Okay. All right. Uh, Darren, Unless your name is be, National. Darren, you're going to be up. So, that is all you do. How's Homeboy here looking? Um, Homeboy is looking injured, but not... Uh, he's above half. He's not bloody, I'd say. Um, two enemies you see are kind of up here, and then you heard your friends over. They're, they're elevated, I assume? Uh, slightly. I mean, you're technically on even ground, but they're a little bit more. Elevated. No, I mean, like... No, they're, they're on the ground. No, they're, they're all they're on the flight. ground. Yep. Okay, I just moved 510, pass through allies, right? Yep, that's fine. What's these circles for? Uh, these are for spells that were cast by... Um, this middle one is healing from Crane, the rest are not yours, but... These are do, now dissipated, though? Uh, they're still there. They're like these, um, uh, it's like insect plague, so a bunch of, like, biting locusts that are uh, swarming around. How do I do, like, the, like, the tracking thing where I can, like... Um, you can just hold control and then left-click from your character, and then if you want to move somewhere, hit space. Sorry, using aggressive as a bonus, I assume? Yes. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you can get to here. Right there where I'm yeah. at? Absolutely. Uh, I've already forgotten how to play this character. Jesus. Um... And I gotta target him, right? And then I stick in my two attacks even if I use bonus action, right? Uh, mm -hmm. correct, yep. Okay. Oh, but I can't activate the flame tongue, so. So it's only gonna be two regular attacks without, without fire damage. Six damage on that one if it hits. Okay. It, does. it does hit, okay. And second one. Yep. Fortunately, that will. Yeah, that does not hit. Uh, that's it. Okay. All right. Uh, I just wanted to let everyone know I'm gonna be hopping off, um, because I got an early vet appointment now that I just found out about. So. That's nice. Yeah, I love that. Um. So, I will talk to you guys later. Um, All right, good sir. Thank you for letting to, me know, by the way. And, uh, and yeah. whisper. Appreciate it. Yeah. And good night, everybody. Be safe, have fun, love you, bye. 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 All right. Yes, Richa. Um, Azur, since you're close, go ahead and make me a nature check. And then Reinhold, I will have him make one. Uh, Crane, now that you see them, if you want to make a nature check as well, feel free. Mm -hmm. Did you tell me to as well? Yes. Oh. Look at you, go. But I will make one anyway. Yeah, come on, you got this. You got this. Nope. Uh, okay. Uh, Crane, you're pretty sure that 
uh, Nash and I is going to be making some money soon because these are Kikimoras. They are okay. flight, they're flightless bird-like creatures um, that are um, quite uh, Oopy. quite the illusionist and spooky and tormenting. Um, and in the heat of battle, that's all you got right now. Uh, so Hi. Nash and I and Vizur, I'm going to make one claw attack against each of you. Uh, starting with Mr. Nash. It's only an 11. That will hit. Me beats. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to be making some money in hell. <laughs> uh, and then second I am claw. 15. Uh, we'll go to... Oh, natural. That creature. Vizora, treat this guy like the Nihilith. <laughs> Next Nekichar. He's already killing me. Two claw attacks to the Rhine. Natural seven does not hit. Natural five does not hit. Crazy. Nashnai, you are up. Oh god, I feel like garbage. Alright. I will move up here. And I shall. Bit bop, hit him with my fist. Alrighty. Yeah, that's good damage. And my second. That is also some good damage. These bonuses add up. And then same thing as last turn. I will flurry for that third hit. Oh yeah. And then the last one is a heal. Okay. Oh, I think I. I think I might oh, accidentally heal him. Oh, I'll yeah. take care of it. I got it. it. It didn't heal automatically. So go ahead and heal yourself seven. Yep, yep. And then I don't know if this is supposed to be uh, the case, but I can see their health bar. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So new That'll be it for me. Dragged onto the map, so. Yep, yep. Um, I mean, it, effectively, it's the same visual as, like, injured, barely injured. So it won't matter too much. Um, alrighty here. Mm. Nashnai, this creature sees the damage that you're putting out. And yeah. It's gonna try and cast another spell on you. Let's um, put a spell on me. Um... Oh, I actually forget how this works. It starts, he's choosing you, and then if any hit points roll over for the sleep spell, it's going to go to the door. I believe that's how this works. So he's going to center it here. Uh, that's it's not an yeah. attack roll. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know why I tried to roll a d20. Um, oh, you know what? I think it tried to maybe automate, uh, I don't even fucking know. Didn't even tell you. Um, I'm gonna roll five d eight, and if it's above twenty two, you will be slumped. It is twenty two. However, uh, Vizur, you see this. Thank you for that, Vizur. You see this magical sleep spell, which I think you know in your spell list. Um, eh, no, you don't. But you would have, I'm sure, seen it in your travels. Um, and you see this sleep effect start to take Nash and I, and he just seems to shake it off as if there's some ward or something. Oh? Mm -hmm. I never sleep. That's my secret cap. Uh, and with that, that sleep spell goes away. Uh, uh, so, Vizur, uh, you are up. Uh... Vizur is feeling a little frazzled at the moment. Mm -hmm. He is going to take a roll of a bone. A what? Roll of the what bone. A... You see, uh, as you're landing your punches, Nashna, you see Vizur grab the two uh, dice out of his pocket that he recently acquired. He seems to be rolling. This is no time for rolling. Okay. Oh, shit. What was that uh, you can just uh, click the item, Vizor. Oh, okay. And it'll put it in the chat. But we can still keep that result. Because it doesn't roll anything 
automatically, if I recall. Yeah. Yeah, it's the one that I didn't really want, but that's okay. That's the, that's the gamble you take. All right. Uh, and exactly. you hear the words. You hear the word in your mind. At a boy. Ugh, gross. Um, my next turn, I will heal myself. Nice. As <laughs> an action or bonus action? As an action. Okay. Anything you're going to do with your bonus action next turn? Command scales. Okay. And what are you doing with your action this turn? I'm going to take one more swipe at this homie. Okay. I mean, maybe technically two swipes because you got multiple. Maybe, if it's <laughs> necessary. Ooh, it might not be necessary. Yeah, that will bring it to zero. And you have held that creature. Squish. <laughs> yep. Does that work? Now it's uh, your turn. Slice. God. Good. I need to get out of your wave, Azur. Good damage. All right. Uh, scales is just sick. taking the dodge action, I assume. Yes. Okay. Uh, does it take? I'm sorry. My action to heal scales. Uh, I think that's something that he can do. Repair. Yeah, he has a repair action, which he should have. Yes. Time. Yeah. Do you want him to do that? Yes, please. Okay. I can get this done. I will provide this. All right. So that's going to be. I think it's two d eight plus your modifier. Two d eight plus. That just says 2d8 plus 2. Alright, 11 points. That'll be... He's not 2100. Whoa! Scales! <laughs> huh? huh? Alright. Uh, this young man here. Uh, let's see. Let's get a target the young same man. one. <laughs> There's no need to go down. <gasps> oh, wow. Yeah, that with me. Oh my Holy god! <laughs> Jesus oh, fuck! Hell yeah, bro. Well, this <laughs> fucking guy. Uh, bro has sharpshooter without the without the actual feet. <laughs> However, I will say that his non-magical bolt did not do as much as he thought it would. Uh, I'll take the second attack. Well, there's the uh, duality. Duality of, of the man. Duality of man. Damn it. <laughs> 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 oh god. Okay. Alright. Crane. My boy. My worst. boy. Look how they oh. massacred my boy. Look at how they massacred All right. my boy. Alright. I'm continue working on this puppy over here. Alright. Right. That will absolutely hit. 10 damage applied. Uh, you may apply. Yeah, that's what I'd like to see. Thank you. Um, and then, yeah, let's just, just for, just for funsies. How about a sharp shooter shoot? Sharp shooter shoot. Sharp shooty shoot. You can try that. I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, yeah. Bop him. Bop it. Mm. Twist it. Mm. Uh. Pull it. Mm. Alright, so I need. Okay. So, one ah, of the. Uh... Is it a fail on the concentration? It is a fail, so that large mass of insects goes away. However, there's still one that remains. Uh, anything oh, you're doing? Yes, with I also your... would have moved scales out of the radius of that. I oh, yeah, I it's, yeah that's, there. that's fine. Uh, anything you're doing with uh, bonus action crane or uh, moving? I'm um, leaving the thingy there. Okay. Um, I think crane, I don't think a... I could move it really. Uh, no, I think. You could. Hey, I know. Uh, crane. crane, give me a perception check, please. Crane? Okay. Boop 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 boop. Okay. Um. You thought you saw a little bit of movement in here. Well, is that the cave? Yep. Okay. Uh, 
All right, so you're staying there? Yep. All right. Go to Mr. Reinhold. Uh, and you know what I do when I play Reinhold. You attack stuff? Well, first I'm going to incur an attack of opportunity because <laughs> he's leaving from me. Um, but he will target the three upfront fighters. With... Oh, yeah, bless. Yeah, why not? Uh, so I'm going to apply that effect to y'all. Hashtag blue. Beautiful. Beautiful. And beautiful. All right. Uh, this Isha has the opportunity. Uh, yeah, that'll be back. Alrighty. And Reinhold uh, will not have to make a concentration check because that attack happened before cast Tuesday. Um, let's see. Bone sack. He will get back into melee. Alrighty. Future's turn uh, is going to cast uh, invisibility on itself. Those are a counter spell. <laughs> Fortunately, it's only if I'm the target of a spell. Damn. Uh, Uno reverse card. That one hit for now. Alright, Ashna, you are up. Uh, so, this one, or sorry, which one of them seemed to vanish? Or uh, is the it one that you the one can't see right now. Well, duh. One that was over here. I see. <laughs> I will walk up to this one. I'm a bop. Give him a good thrashin. And then just a single strike as a bonus action. Alrighty. Nice uh, I'm job. gonna I'm gonna go and make three concentration checks. Go alone. Unfortunately, the insects still roar behind you. However, you are not in their, uh, in their aura. We pay them in that. Alrighty, that'll be it. Okay. As far as this one goes. Uh, you know what? It has a casting of sleep left. Azure, I'm going to try and go for you. So, it's gonna fucking roll. Counterspell. Oh. Rainbow's reward. Incredible. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna change its uses on its character feed so I don't have two. He just did the SpongeBob rainbow, but it says nobody cares. <laughs> remember if there's a way to ah in your spell book in your innate spell casting yes pass kind of spell because it'll use i think a charge from the sword and my spell even book. if it yeah actually it might not use it from the sword i think it'll just reset when you hit long so, so just go ahead and top. cast it yep just so we know that you use it uh so they have to target a token so target yeah. That, and I'll try it. Cash spell, consume resource? Yes. Yep. Cool. All right. 
Um, and it is a higher level spell than uh, than the sleep spell. So you're fine. That being said, Bazur, it is now your turn. Wonderful. Oh, kill him. I previously stated that I will heal myself this turn. Indeed. Oh, you're right. And I must do this, but I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at second level. Make sure you target yourself and untarget the uh, enemy creature. Thank you. Yep. Here you go, little bird man. Flu uh, heal. <laughs> oh, shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh. Second slot. Hey, not terrible. That's pretty good. If it didn't give me. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> and then scales. Oh yeah, he's got. Does that range. count as a spot? Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Scale. Oh, really? right, sc scales can't target him because <laughs> he's behind the tree. Oh, because it here I can change that quite easily. Get Thank you. Wall segments for you. There you go. There we go. Okay. And Scales will do a force empowered rend. Come on, buddy. Rend it, Scales. Oh. 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 Close. <laughs> Make out so close. But he's here. Force All right. I believe in him. Uh, again, the soldier will shoot over Scales uh, and target the enemy bird creature. Uh, unfortunately, is a miss. Do a little bit better with this like. Oh, the opposite. A little bit worse. Alright. Um as he's gonna move back. Frank, okay. you are up. Um I'm very tempted to try to shoot at the invisible thing. Sure. Um it hasn't attacked Reinhold or anything, has it? Um not uh was it this one or the other one? Oh, the invisible one now is the one that attacked Ryan. Mm -hmm. So you're not sure where that one is. Hmm. Can I just make an attempt? Uh, you can. Where would you like to make an attempt? To shoot at the one that was by Reinhold. Okay. Where are you aiming? It's kind of where it was. Roll. Crane. Roll. Roll. My boy. Dude. Uh, I wonder if it's still not targeting anybody. Oh yeah, he doesn't have anything to target. Can you just click the item from your inventory? Let's try. Boy. Oh boy. No, I guess not. So watch, it's going to roll like 12 times when it finally goes off. I hope not. What if I target Reinhold? Yeah, you can. Go for it. I mean, Just I don't actually that's... want to do damage to Just Reinhold. To see if that's the problem. No, it's not going to auto-apply. But I'll use the attack. Well, okay. Well, all right. Then I'll try to target the other one. Okay. I'll sharpshooter it because it's behind yeah. my friends. Oh, that will definitely hit. Yes, Crane. That will bring it down to zero. You just okay. saved my motherfucking life. Ah, oh, didn't even need your scrolls. You're just there to, munch, to. to munch on the bird. All right. Uh, are you doing anything else with your turn, Crane? Um, closer. Okay. That's, Not really counting, but I think that's... That's 20. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's going to be incredible. Okay. Um, as a held action, when the last uh, bird creature that was seen is defeated, because the other one is still invisible... 
you hear a cackling from the cave. <laughs> Man flesh! And you see a flask with some weird liquid in it fly out of the cave as this little kobold with a bunch of flasks and this um, jars of liquid on its back. And you see... I'll show you the lip picture. Uh, when this creature comes out of the cave and tosses this uh, sort of liquid... Uh, you hear a hiss, and you see an explosion. Um, so within 30 feet, so let's see how far this gets. Right here. So centered on this square will be an explosive blast. Crane, I need you to make me a deck save. Okay. And then another mm -hmm. one for Reinhold. Ooh, no, not good. Oof. Okay. So, Crane, you're going to take uh, 21 points of damage. Reinhold's going to take... 21? Mm -hmm. Reinhold's taking 10, and we'll see if he on save. Ooh. He doesn't. Bizarre. No bless zone. You are not blessed. Nash, no, you are not blessed. Get unblessed. Uh, so, Crane, I'm going to apply that damage to you. 21. Uh, and then I need you to make me a con save, please. For your con check, rather, for your spell. Check. Hold up. Eh? Ability check? Uh, just from the chat block. I saw well, a rock on its one. Okay. That, that would have been the same. It's fine. Um. Okay. With that. Um. Uh, let's see. For Reinhold. I'm gonna reposition. I'm gonna get rid of this aura uh, there. Uh, and as a bonus action, I think we'll use. Yeah. We'll use uh, Turn the Tide for uh, Nash and I. For... So. Let's see. Here. Okay, Nash and I and Bazaar go ahead and gain nine hit points. Uh, and let's see what's the rain on uh, sacred. Six feet. Okay. This cobble's gonna make a deck save. Unfortunately, it makes, so no damage is dealt. Uh, nine hold is going to. Uh, and. I think I want to stop here for the evening and restart next week. Uh, okay. With top of initiative. Restart? So you mean I can do that deck save again? No, no, because that's uh, in the past, you know. All right. Mm -hmm. We will uh, we will continue this battle next week as you all hear from the west inside this echoey cave cackling of at least three different pitches and tones. As you oh see, boy, we some... found the, the Cobalt Coven. <laughs> some oh, creatures no. mobilized. Last time, the Cobalts were nice, weren't they? Yeah. Not in this case. These ones are the ones that will eat our horses. <laughs> <laughs>